Hello! Hi everyone! Happy Wednesday! Happy new MSQ day! Hi Potato Jack! How are you doing today? And of course, hi Blue! <laughs> hi Mr. My Jesus! Hello. Well, hi! Hi Mr. Jesus! How are you doing today? <laughs> Alright, so we have a new quest here, but we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to go speak to Delian. Which is in Camp Broken Glass. More Hildy! Before, I actually have some things for you. You do? Materials for making my uh, white mage gear. Oh, these are for you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Also, <laughs> let me know if you have any of these minions. Um, I have the dodo. I don't have the Atomus. I don't have the minecart. I have the tiny tuts, and I have the bonkish. I don't have Yugiri. Uh, I don't have that one either. Ooh, I have the Chimera. That I do not have. All right, I don't have any of these. Thank you. More? Oh More. My God. Oh my god. I have Someone else gave these to me and I have to like see if you need them first. Alright. I have Hien. I have Matanga. I have Shinryu. I have Witret. And I have the Moai. I had all of them. Hi Groten, how are you doing? Oh my god, how many are there? <laughs> One more after these five. Alright, I have Mithra. I have Anemos. I have Slowy. I don't have the Peacock. Nor the Seite. Nor the Virtue. Back, back to crafting you go. All right. <laughs> awesome. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Whew. Thank now you. I can pop the ones that I didn't have. All right. My god. Gold Rush Minecart, unsurprisingly void of gold. That makes sense. Ivan Coral Fist Doll, technically Coral Paw. Why does that look like Ramu? <laughs> Alright. Bismarck! The hairiest whale you will see this fortnight. The hairiest whale? Does it, do whales have hair? These whales what? Do whales have hair? Uh, technically they're, um, if they eat krill, then yes. Because that said that the hairiest whale you will ever, 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 ever see. I can't talk today <laughs> again. When can I talk? Conditional virtue. Cuddle not to dullness. Cuddle not to elevation. Cuddle? Let's cuddle. Prettier than your average peacock. Aww. I want to see what the peacock looks like. Dragonness is in the eye of the beholder. That's. All right, I need to see this one. Where did he go? Not this one, although I am curious what this is. Where did you go? Oh, what are you? Oh, that's a... I don't know if that's pretty or creepy. 
Look at the wings. The wings are so pretty. Hi, Frank and Boom. How are you doing? That's a rare one. Well, I don't know who gave it to me or who gave it to Blue to give to me. <laughs> but where did it go? The thingy that I wanted to see what it looks like. Where did the peacock go? Here. Oh, it looks so pretty. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I think you're gonna be my minion today. Be free, birdie, fly! Whee! <laughs> Sorry. The virtue goes for around 900k on the market board. Wait, what? Who the heck gave that to me? I can't remember. <laughs> Someone just like randomly one day, would, like, I think it was like before the stream was like, hey, or like maybe it was not like off stream or whatever, like, hey, uh, um, here, here are these. Do you, either you, or do either you or Kat need them? I'm like, I have absolutely no idea about Kat, so <laughs> I will ask her before I pop any of these. Aww. That Scarlet Peacock is used to spawn the S rank in Il Meg. You use minions for that? I don't know how that works. Giving away Gil isn't fun, but minions is. <laughs> Hi Luna, how are you doing? How has your day been so far? <laughs> but getting Gil is fun. <laughs> I'm so close to 20, um, 20 million. I will get my house one day. Then I have a lot of crafting to do. <laughs> Speaking of crafting, you technically have the stats that uh, make the gear, don't you? Technically, yes. Not but quite pentamilded, but... But I feel like I still, like, um... So next stream is on Monday, so... I might do it this way, where um, I will craft the gear on the weekend. And up until then, I will just keep on doing my melts. Mm. And maybe gathering the materials for that. I think. Just to give myself the best possible odds. Uh, might as well, like, while you're doing the melts and doing your stuff like that, just get some immutable solution. Um, get 18 of them. Six for, uh, six for each set of gear. I don't have any right now. Well, they're bought with the uh, purple scripts, purple cracker scripts, though. So. Okay. Melds and gathering stuff for the for the gear sets. That's what I'm gonna do during the week now, and then on the weekend I'm gonna try to craft the actual thing. I think that's what I'm gonna go for I think all right are you ready to strain your throat but it doesn't strain my throat I don't understand how that sounds painful it sounds painful let's see if I can remember what I had their voices as it's okay they can be different I would probably not be able to tell the difference because I never remember anything I was bored last night, so I found fun in pentamelding some gatherer gear. It is fun! <laughs> How right. in the world is that fun? Ugh. You, Hello? How much of your own free time have you spent doing that? 
No one's forcing you. You are doing it because you like it. Hello? Is there a new is there a new in here? I am Delion, editor in chief of the Thadnarian Truth. I've come to follow up your eyewitness account. Whoa, this is gonna hurt my head. I have to go make some gatherer gear now so I can actually get the new materials. Oh no! Good luck! The editor the editor in chief himself? What an honor. You're a little bit ahead of me. There it is. Okay. Sorry. I wish there was more of a story, but everything I know oh, was in my submit. Uh, everything I know is in my submission. I have not left to tell. I'm so slow. Unless you have something else to share, didn't you say you saw the saucer as well? Why does that guy look like an old horse Oh, I did more than just see it. This was around the time when the fighting was with Nevra's faction had escalated into all-out war, you understand. I'd been assigned to an anti-aircraft cannon and was actively surveying for enemies when this silver vessel flew into view. That voice actually fits them. Some new kind of war machina, I presumed. So I opened fire and knocked it out of the sky. <laughs> presumed? You mean you never got a good look at the wreckage? We were at war. I wasn't about to venture onto the battlefield to indulge my curiosity. It's probably still out there. Somewhere. Oh, cutie! The bunny. We, are, we have to find that flying, or should I say fallen, silver saucer. <laughs> oh, sorry, a little Hebrew there. Do you have any idea where it crashed? Not gold? Not an exact location, no. When we best, when we best have a go God's own luck, Godable's capital region encompasses mobs and mobs of icy wilderness. Oh God, this one. If Brandy. I may, do you happen to remember? The approximate speed and bearing of the saucer, and the position and firing angle of the cannon. More or less, I think. An artillerist without a head for numbers wouldn't be long for the profession. Mm. That should be sufficient, thank you. Oh. That's fishing. I have it. The starship impacted the Earth. 1,360 yams to the northeast of our current location. Give or take a few yams. How the... How the he seven hells did you arrive at that conclusion? Elementary algebra, my dear De Leon. Assuming the craft belonged to Master Poo Poo's comrade it is of similar construction, determining its trajectory is trivial. <laughs> My brilliant clone, ladies and gentlemen. I was about to offer the self same conclusion, but once again, he has beaten me to the punch. Hooray for Inspector Brandehild! Oh, that's 
It, I seem to have stolen my progenitor's thunder. My apologies. That's so cute. 1,360 or so yards to the northeast of here? That, impro that improves the chance of our search for near hopeless or rather hopeful. Let's go and buy that fallen saucer, shall we? Getting those one hit low percent melts gives more joy than the fails feel bad. That's true. Oh, hello. That is true. Those feel so satisfying. Oof. Starship I'm sorry, but when I had like 122 melts in a row fail, that ruined all of the fun for me. When you finally got it, it didn't feel good? No. You didn't feel relieved at all? I still just felt a burning anger. <laughs> just don't fail. Wow, yes. Yeah, see, it's easy. With, what am I supposed to do? Give give RNG, the, uh, RNG a handy under the table to influence this decision? I just had 30 break in, in row. That hurts. <sighs> Hi, Frida. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm. You'll be so much fun. Suffering from success, I think? What? Hello, rude! Why would you do that? He was just trying to hug you. There are pieces of limb. Okay, that's fine. Buried, buried pot. A pot half buried in the snow, nothing alien to speak of. Hello, Poo Poo. Wherever could it be? I don't know. I see, I see no sparklies. I see sparklies! Black metal debris. Ooh, you're next to another, uh... Although promising at first glance, a closer inspection reveals this debris to be the wreckage of some vanquished war machina. Okay. Probably, Frank. I should maybe get on that 6.3 MSQ. Yes. 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 Because we're going to be doing 6.4 today. Oh my god. We have a new quest here. That's okay. A scorched and twisted scrap of metal plating. A starship like Boo's could well have been reduced to a similar state where it hit by artillery rounds. I had a lot of fun doing the new MSQ on raids yesterday, so I hope you'll have lots of fun too. Oh, that's awesome! I'm sure we will. Oh, -ho! what have you found there, Blue? Cat. <gasps> An exterior panel! This is from my friend's starship. I'm sure of it. Debris from the crash landing. I see no other pieces in the immediate vicinity, which means the vessel may have weathered the barrage and made good and made good its escape. Another possibility is your comrade recovered most of the wreckage, or some yet as yet unknown party did. You're saying someone may have made off with our cosmic visitors, saucer and all? 
I say, this is altogether a different kind of alien induction. Ha 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 another spectred humor there. Hmm, has anyone seen Nashu? I love having you here. Now that you mention it, where is my loyal assistant? Building bombs? Hi! Help! You gotta help! I love it, Miss Nashu's been kidnapped! Oh dear god! You want me to give him a sexy voice? Hell fucking no! Screw this guy! Ha ha ha! Some cat claimed to be a, an agent of Dr. Love came and took her away! He called me to tell you, and I quote, if you want your precious companion to return alive, then Love must, be, must present herself at the, at the Tower of Babel! Specifically, the magic deck servicing specifically. Don't forget that part. I actually have to read. <laughs> what do you mean you have to read? I'm reading it to you. I cannot understand any of that. The gall, the temerity, the audacity! My steward aid spared away under my very nose. My apologies, but who are you? A close acquaintance of Nashu, I assume? Just a piece of shit. Oh, bleh? Oh, oh, no. I wish. I mean, uh, I just happen to be passing through. This snowfield. I'm a snowflake inspector, you see. Well, too will like and all that. Anyway, enough about me. You need to go and save Miss Nashu. Snowflake inspector? Seems legit. I'm too absent-minded to catch spoilers. This I know because I watched a friend stream 6.4 MSQ yesterday and I don't remember anything. Oh my god. <laughs> At last, a chance to stretch my legs. <sighs> <sighs> what say you, my son? Shall you're we you're too this? far ahead. Wait for me. <laughs> All right. What now say he's you, my son? Shall we get this rescue mission underway? Indeed we shall! They're cute. Especially the one with no pants on. Oh, he's cute? I see. <laughs> they left without us, even though this doctor fellow asked for you by name. Curious. Gotta make sure the snowflakes are up standard. Wait, what? See anything? The only time I actually tend to drink like lately has been when I go to uh, Korean barbecue, which is amazing, by the way. What is amazing? Korean barbecue and you. Oh, I wouldn't know. I've never had it. You're gonna have it someday. Someday. I'm procrastinating. I know you are. I don't wanna. Hi. <laughs> this is a fun one. I've collected what evidence remained of the crash, but solving this mystery will have to wait. The case of the inducted assailant calls. Assistant. Assistant? You're right. Generational I'm bonding. Being dumb. 
Wait a couple of minutes, I have to make a coffee. <laughs> oh god, we are gonna do this. Okay, I am gonna be fine. Let me have a few sips of my coffee first before we go in there. Really interested now what will win out, Cat's Hate for solo instances or Cat's Love for Healy? So good. We shall see. But I have to say, I, I did enjoy um, the one where we got to play as Zero. I think you'll enjoy this one. Just don't make me be a healer. I don't want to be a healer. If I want to do healing, I want it to be on my terms. I bet you'll really like this one. Let's hope so. Here we go. And this one you get to play as Delian. Oh, then I'm going to have to quit the game. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the Tower of Babel. Whee! All shall fall before a super... Bray Luke With this new and improved body, revenge will finally be mine. Beautiful landing. Time to stop lurking? Alright, welcome back. You will release Nashu this instant. What are you two doing here? I specifically asked for the adventurer. Be gone before I unleash my fury prematurely. Thanks for this experience. I simply must be watching actively. <laughs> oh, oh, this promises to be a proper battle. Oh. I see no reason to trouble Blue. We Cat. tackle this menace as father and son, the Manderville men, together. Do I get to play as Hildy? Agreed! Wah! <laughs> I'll not waste my appetite for vengeance on the side dishes. Hire thugs, time to earn your pay. Oh boy. Wow. Oh, ho, ho. a little warm up before the main event. Get them. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What? Am I going to be Godbert? You are Godbert. Yeah, Lance. What the heck teams. can he do? Execute one like one is a one two three combo. Two instant leap towards the target. Three delivers something attack. Uh, uh, I can't concentrate really when you're talking. Your what was that? I can't concentrate on the reading when you're talking. Okay. <laughs> a gentle manly attack. Looks like he can always have Manderville spl sprint active. Grants 50 seconds, clogs off. Okay, and then now you can use that. Only oh, my enemies. You're the man, awesome. the okay. myth, the legend, the guy in the underwear. Oh my god. <laughs> you get to play as the most powerful goldsmith. Looks like two and three can only execute under gloves off, which the third uh movement speed is increased in a gentleman. Wait, what? 
So the third uh, the third part of the combo on number one grants gloves off, which and number two and three can only be used when under the effect of gloves off. Yeah, that I understood. All right. Ready to get this started? So basically, like one, 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 three. Yes. I'm pretty sure two and three are uh, OGCDs as well. Yeah, they are. And looks like you can always have Manderville Sprint turned on. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Wait, can I use both two and three at the same time? Maybe. So then it would be one, 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 and then know, both of them. I don't know them. if it consumes it. But there's nothing to no, no, consume. No, no, effect, effect fades upon execution, so no. Oh, okay, so it's either or. Is there any reason to use two, though? Because ten has a, uh, uh three has a, uh, recast time. Yeah, all right, so three whenever possible, and okay. All right. All right. I don't even know where to begin with this mess. All right, let's start with this, and then let's start making some mess. Go, God, Bert! Let's do... Oh, yes! Oh, God! That does something like that. Okay. Oh, God. This is weird. This is so weird. This is weird and fun. I... Oh, God. I'm not used to being melee. Like, you know, having to be in a melee. Is oh, God. There we go. Hello, dog. Your lackeys were found lacking. Ah! Come out and face your face. The sun will be the first to die? No! Eh. Oh god! No! No! Don't you dare! No! 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 Oh my god! Oh god! No, 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 no! No, no! Don't you dare! Don't you dare, my boy! My boy! Oh god. My boy! My ba my baby boy! Ah! I can't run that fast! Oh god. That was stressful. My hands are sweating. It's hot in here. Look at Godbird run! This is so funny! Oh, for fuck's sake. You're overwhelming me, dear game. I can't do this. Ah! I'm sorry that you guys have to listen to me. I mean, I guess you can't, uh, don't have to. You can always ha -ha, turn the volume off. <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> oh god. This will need to be like. Yeah, like that. Something like that. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm stressed. Okay, those are done. What's here? What is this that I'm targeted to? Oh, for God's sake. I'm stressed.
Oh my god. What now? I can't move. Neutralize this the missiles. This is really funny. Well, I can't do anything. Oh. He's moving so fast, he's in all of them at once. And I was just getting started. You stopped them all by sidestepping? Very well, it seems I must crush you myself. Hi Vanzan, how are you doing? God, that does something. Ah. Ah. All right, don't do that during that thing. Lesson learned. Oh my god. Ah! For fuck's sake, where am I gonna be after this one? Ah! That's mean! This is so weird. This got to be the weirdest fight ever! <laughs> but was it a fun fight? <laughs> yeah, that was fun. God bird is so fast. Now's our chance! Hello there. Swimming in the air? I don't know if that's how it works. Hug. The Mandeville Man! Oh, Victorious God. again! <laughs> My god, heal this face. God, I love Hildy. Like the whole quest lines. That seems about right. I love that the boss is like that, too. Oh, cutie! Ah, uh, things seem to be well in hand. <laughs> yes. We hey hey Don't get ahead of yourselves! <clears throat> mm. 
There you are, my loathsome nemesis. I saved something special just for you. A glowy nose. Fishing. Of all the Mander Real stuff that's been going on, the swimming is the one you are questioning. <laughs> yes. Oh no, see what we've learned is that shields don't really work in this game, they break. Catch up with chat. <laughs> oh my god. Shields don't really work. Can't believe you would insult every paladin by your life hat. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> I was afraid the shield seed <laughs> nice would end shot. like Porsche font. <laughs> jet shot. Oh my god. Now I want to play FF10 again. First volleyball, yeah. now head ball. <laughs> Does it make you just want to play Final Fantasy X and play Blissfall in it? It makes me want to play Final Fantasy X but never touch Blissfall. Unfortunately, that's not an option you can make. Blissfall! I god dang, I hate it. I like Blissfall. Of course you do. When I grow up, I want to be a Blissfall. should have just fought Godbert. I agree. I agree. <sighs> oh my gosh. Hi, Sora. Welcome on in. All right. That was a lovely nap. You took a nap? I mean, now she always does. She what? takes naps in the middle of cutscenes. That's why she's so pretty, because she takes care of her beauty sleep. Oh, did someone build a Magitek servicing facility while I was asleep? Nicely done, Inspector Brandy Hill. Once more, the clone has put the original to shame. Inspector, please. I am but a pale imita imitation of your ideal. That is so cute! The thing we made, <laughs> that, that, that's so cute. Sorry. <laughs> I knew keeping company with the famous blue Cat. would lead me to a worthy challenge. <laughs> Worthy of breaking a sweat, at least. I 
I wonder what their intended uh, tones are here. You've done all this work for me. You've done all this work for me. I think the second one's like, oh, I wanted to do this. Well, the first one can be like that too. I love these options. I'm gonna go with the first one. Three, two, I already one, went because I didn't hear from you. Work this, work this, to us, but a playful skirmish compared to your usual do or die dilemmas. The villain's van the villain is vanquished, and Nash has returned to us safe and sound. I say we head back to Razat Han to regroup and rethink our position. Your comrade yet lives, Master Poo Poo. I am certain of it. Take heart and let us continue the search. Master Poo Poo. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh! Please, game. Bring the minion. Bring the Poo Poo minion. Time to go back to lurking. Okay, happy lurking. Oh, hi. You're cute. Ooh, the music. It's the end of the patch. To Garla Morden, back we have journeyed. Together, this is just the beginning of the case of the silent correspondent. Come, my friends. The share. The shard of saucer was secured shall lead us onwards to new discoveries. Wait for me, Inspector. I don't know which way is onwards. <laughs> I should follow him, shouldn't I? Yeah. Wait, wait for me. That break, that bracing melee was just what this, this uh, trigger ordered. A spot of exer exertion to stimulate the mind. And I find myself ready to grapple with the final points of forging again. Your assistance in this historic ripper, uh, Reproduction of the Mandarin weaponry would be, as always, most welcome. You shall Until have it I... eventually. Hmm? You shall have it eventually. Once I'm done with other stuff. Until our next meeting. Thank you for your for assisting with my investigations, Blue. Cat. You want him to say your name? No. Once again, our travels were rife with inexplicable phenomena, and yet I had no closer to exposing Poo Poo's well concealed conspiracy. He will slip one day, though, and you and I will be there to catch him. F off. One thing I need to do, though, does he stay there? Meanwhile, somewhere in Thavenir. That's not gonna be creepy at all. What's well, someone running buck naked but in, in completely in shadow? Yeah.
you took my coin and you failed. What a dastardly that you should return, seeking my negress once more. <clears throat> I deserve your scorn, but I promise you, your plans are in danger so long as that tenacious pest yet lives. I know of a path to victory, a forbidden path, one which demands the manifestation of the divine. You're, you've lost some teeth. Look, that's an amazing party of characters. <laughs> I love Hildy Quest. We're also where we need to be for <gasps> MSQ. Oh, the peacock stands on my shoulder. That's what adorable. Are you talking about? He's flying. He's flying right in front of me. Right in front of you. He's flying right there. Right there. Right there. He's standing on my shoulder. I know you. That's where he is for you. He's in a different place for you. Yeah, all minions are. I know they are different for, um... Which yeah, the that, that's is weird. Local. That's weird. Like, yeah, char where characters are is server size and where minions are local. To reduce the strain on the, uh... Uh, servers. That's the reason why all minions are, like, uh, kept local. It's just, it's just dumb that you can never be like, oh my god, like in game, like, oh my god, look at this, but then it's gonna be different for them, so. Aw, the little birdie, I love it. They stay on my shoulder even when I run. That's so cute. That's very cute. All right, I think it's time Welcome for MSQ in, uh, then. Welcome in, uh, Damburung. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? All right, are we ready for new MSQ? That's new for, for blue too, blue, blue, blue too. Oh new God. for blue too. That's a tongue twister. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, Mega Duta. Blue to the NA alt. <laughs> but, did, you, did you hear that? But, did you hear that EU is now your main and NA is now your alt? We have all agreed to this. This is not the case. Yes, it is. No. This is, this is now your Absolutely. main. This is where you are. No. This is where no. you are going through the main story for the first time. That sounds like a main to me. This is not my main. 
<laughs> Absolutely not. This is your home now, see? The council have spoken. Not. Yes, it is. You're not. You're gonna have to drag me. You're gonna drag me by my dead body away from my FC. That's not gonna happen. They mean way too much to me. Well, I mean, you can still have them. It's not like you can't be in an FC on an alt. Later, Ann. <sighs> Gotta go, because I'm not going to spoiler territory for me. Alright. Thank you for stopping by, Ryan. Can you and Van Zandt, your... the same thing. <laughs> You're gonna be in spoiler territory for someone who's been such a long-standing viewer as Ryan. And Frankaboom too, to be honest. Oh, he was like like that before. Yeah. It feels and weird. Van it feels weird that I am the one like spoiling or like, you know. You know what I'm saying? What is spoilers? <laughs> I'll say yeah. I'll say so I can keep annoying Blue. Thank you Luna, very much appreciated. You're doing, a, you're doing a really, really poor job of it because all I can say is I am enjoying your company and you being here on the stream. What a sweet talker. You being here has been nothing but a joy, so. Technically, you're doing a really she poor started job the game before me. me. Wait, I did? When did she start it? <laughs> Look, I'm distracted by gathering materials right now, you sweetie. <laughs> Let's Aww. see if I can remember. What is the 8 o'clock one? What is the 8 o'clock one? I'm trying to memorize the route. God, what is 8 o'clock? No, that's 4. Ah. Last August? Oh, okay. Uh, nice. Ross voted mini. Fortunately, there are vods, so as soon as I am done, I might just look at the reactions then. See you next week for your raids. Yay! Thank Later you, Anzan. Alright. Oh my god. This is gonna be my first time doing current content. Like, new content. Oh my god! Okay. This Sorry, is I'm my second patch caught up. I am way too excited. Wait, really? Yes, I was caught up last patch. I was only one patch behind you? Or was it two? No, no, it was two patches. That's right, because I did, I was all caught up when I did the uh, uh, to start crafting the old new gear. This is my second time, like, sprinting to make everybody gear. Kind of surprised yeah, you're not milking the patch markets? What do you mean? Uh, just like, throw, uh, making a whole bunch of stuff as soon as patch drops so you can just throw it in the market and make tons and tons of gill. Well, I can't make the things yet. Because I'm still Rift catching up. I'm still catching up when it comes to crafting. Oh, because people are so people are buying the grip shells because they're like, oh no, I finally need to buy the new gear in order to make the new gear. Like the people who are making it last minute. Ah, that makes sense. Because I was so, like grip very gels. Whoa, that I was means very confused get back into are... doing bunnies. Grip gels are not like used in any of the gear that came out this patch. So I was like, wait, why grip gels? Oh yeah, all the people that are scrambling last minute. Oh my God, I need new gear in order to get the new stuff. Ah. My crafters aren't up to date. I'm almost, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. It's, it's, it's a journey, but I, I'm getting there. <laughs> Technically, we like, we calculated that she does right now have enough stats to make the 
make all the uh, materials and the gear. Like, she has just enough of uh, the stats. Well, actually, a little bit more craftsmanship and control. That's fine. It was the CP that she needed a little mm -hmm. more of. She needed at least 560 GP. Because with the melt, CP is always the last thing you melt. So that was that's why that was running yeah. uh, a little bit behind. Um, And it's... uh. As long as he drinks the, uh, what's the, the one, Thai. Like, you always see people, it's, I always find it funny, you see people all the time in these, like, rotation guides and stuff like this. Oh, with calamari, with calamari, with calamari. It's like, you don't need that. You can get something I've never used that. significantly easier to, uh, make. Yeah, my entire left side is done. My right side is looking good. I'm leaving the tools for last. And then my gathering is looking like this. Which, getting there. Although RxC is, it's hilarious though, because my uh, FC leader is like, groans when like they know that I'm drinking that uh tea um for crafting because they will uh like there's a few people in my FC they'll make batches of a hundred of them and then turn them in for the um uh 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 lev uh lev quest lev quest or whatever L levy quest or I always forget how you say it um but yeah it's like yeah really really good guild to turn the, like turn a hundred of them in at a time and so like, why are you doing that? Uh, you're scared giving away your money. He's like, I want to craft and I can't unless I do that. Yeah, it's pricey or time consuming, depending on which for, way you do it. And both well, me for and me, Kat it's been time it. consuming. <laughs> yeah. Both me and Kat do it the time consuming way, except for me a little bit near the end. Because I was trying to go crazy. I was trying to building three sets of gear and I got like, I snapped during the, uh, gathering part of it because i'm like this is just way too much hurry up and wait hurry up and wait uh that i like i find I was buying some bunch of material off the board whatever and putting that in the gear which i'm never going to i've decided like i'm fine with the craft with pentamon and the craft gear that's actually enjoyable for me yeah, it I'm is. Never pent is. i'm never going to ever pentamill someone someone else's gatherer gear again It just, I, it's so time consuming to get the material and then you use it and you get zero progress and then you're like, You have better okay. gathering here, Frank? You mean with just uh, having the better melds or what? Well, my gathering is still, that's not far. I'm not far with my gathering. Well, I mean, a little bit, sure. I mean, I am, yeah, well, there's still a lot to do. <sighs> there's still a lot to do. I'll get there. I'll get there. I'm working on it every day. <laughs> Fully melded five hours ago. Congrats! Nice, congrats, Frank. Congrats! It, that's, no, no, it is. That's it gonna is. take me forever. I made I made uh, the new gear right away in the, um, on the patch, and was like, even I made all three sets right away in uh, the last patch, and over the course of the entire patch was gradually, gradually melding it in order to try to maintain my sanity, and I almost still lost it for the gathering stuff at the end. He was going crazy. All right, shall we start six point four? <laughs> I bet they do. Four. Work. Why, why is this, oh, ah, why am I having a hard time starting this? Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. All right. Currying flavor. Barshan's eyes light up when he sees you. This is going to be my first time doing MSQ in a way where Blue hasn't done it before. You know? Seeing all these uh, all this food here reminds me of reading the descriptions for all the new uh, food that came out. 
Mm. I wonder what the uh, price spike is right now for the um, uh, fake eggplant. Does anyone know what like, the going rate typically on most EU servers is for the baked eggplant at the moment? As I'm assuming it's gotta be super pricey as everyone's trying to uh, grab the new highest one for uh, their like trials and stuff like that. Whoosh. All right, let's go. Into the cutscene. Blue, tis good to see you. Have you any news from old Charlian? We've yet to hear from Yishtola reg uh, regarding her search for the, for the means to return to the void. I must confess that her silence has left me feeling restless. Frank, about what did I do? Uh, 14k. Uh, like he, like what you did, the whole, the one going over your head. That also went over Frank's head as well. Oh! <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, but <laughs> for most combat classes, the neck, the new best in slot food is baked uh, eggplant. You, it's usually really easy to tell. It gives crit and doesn't have skill speed or spell speed. If it, if it meets those two conditions, then it's the uh, it's in contention for the best in slot. And right now there's only, I think, two that, maybe two that do that. One gives tenacity and one gives uh, determination. So, easy. Now I just want some big, big blind in real life. Oh, I know. You're right, welcome. Luna? So good. Yes, please. <laughs> All right. You read this, right? Uh, yes. All right. Nor am I alone in this. Estinian has an excess of energy that he has been helping to train our soldiers with Nered Grumble. As for Zero... Love her. Ah, speak of the devil. <laughs> or speak of the voice and... <laughs> My god. <laughs> Is something the matter? No, no. Blue paid us a visit, so I'm surprising her of the recent developments, or lack thereof. Are you heading somewhere? Aye, to replenish my ether. Just say you're hungry like normal people. <laughs> well, she's not normal. I know. Would you like to come? Oh. I mean, we're just talking about baked eggplants, so we would love to come. <laughs> Always get her pleasure. She's adorable. Yeah, I love A her. A rare but most welcome invitation. Timely too, I might add. I myself was thinking of venturing out into the city. It would be my pleasure to join you. She's like, I wasn't talking to you. I feel like a lot of my uh, like absolute favorite characters in the game are people that have been introduced in, well, mainly in ARR already. I feel like Zero is the only one that's like a new character that I actually would like to put into my like favorite characters of the game. Long story short, Frank Boom, unless you know your job uses skill speed or spell speed, uh, skill speed or spell speed for a specific reason, the best in uh, the best in slot food will always be baked eggplant. You right. will accompany it. You will accompany us, of course. Yes. Come then. I have an errand to run at the bazaar first. Running errands. Quest accepted. Speak with a zero. Mayhem, maybe? Whee! 
You're welcome. I know it's a bit of a detour, but Cat Launch, you can open up the uh, food recipe book and we can go over that, or we can just keep doing MSQ. Wait, what? What do like you Like, if do? you want, we can open up your uh, recipe book for your uh, culinary and stuff, over, to go over the new recipe so I can more talk about what I was talking about, or we can just keep doing MSQ. What do you need me to open up? It would be uh, your culinary and crafter book. Your culinarian? Hit Ed. Yeah, but... Uh, go, to, go to the master recipes. All right. Uh, scroll what down to the four star for? ones. Anything that's four star right now. Well, these are all four star. Exactly. That's where I was like, like saying like, hey, why is like why is baked eggplant the one that is the best in slot? This one. Um. Yeah. So like, go, go to the very top of the four stars though. Top of the honey dragon fruit. Yeah. So honey dragon fruit gives direct hit and determination. It doesn't give crit, but doesn't give bad stats, so that's considered. Then we go to the next one. Dragon fruit dragon fruit blend. It gives skill speed and direct hit. So that's only gonna be considered for any job that wants skill speed. If your job does not want skill speed, you do not look at that at all. Then we go to the next one. Baba Ganoush. It gives crit, but it also gives skill speed. So if you're in a job that does use skill speed, Baba Ganoush will always be the uh, food that you want. <laughs> you don't just eat what looks good. You can also do that. <laughs> I mean, you do what makes you feel good, Miss uh, Jesus. See, that's the right way. The baked eggplant looks so good. But yeah, the baked eggplant, it gives, it's the only one that gives crit that doesn't give skill speed or spell speed. Next. So even though even though it only gives 49 crit compared to say the Baba Ganoush, which gave way more, you still don't want skill speed or spell speed on certain jobs. It actually is a DPS loss for doing that. So basically, unless you know for a specific reason why you're getting the skill speed or spell speed, just always default to baked eggplant and you will like do way better than almost anything else. Real easy as far as like trying to figure out what food do I want. Yeah, Scholar suffers DPS loss with um, spell speed. Red Mage suffers DPS loss. Yeah, it's, that's so it, weird right. that if you're it does faster, sound stupid, it's... but it is. That's so weird. It just like moves your GCDs along uh, your like like buff windows and stuff like that. It's it's weird how that can happen, but that's just just how it is. All right. Do you still want me to have this here or? Nah. Okay, we're done. There we go. Okay. Little. I'm picking up some more spice. Mirai told me to do so before my next visit. Mr. Zero, um, as Mistress Zero has quite the tolerance, you see. The sisters we know. Uh, the sisters we know Haddish are fond of spicy food, but I doubt any of us could keep up with her. With just the spices they normally have on hand, the Mahane can't quite satisfy her, which is why I'm happy to provide what they need to achieve the more rigorous labors. Nothing, variety being the spice of life, <laughs> the little merchant humor there. Per perhaps you could like to chew something extra to blend with Mistress Zero as usual? Why do I always find it so cute when people either laugh at their own jokes or explain their own jokes? I just find that funny. I do that. I do the same though. Are you laughing when they do that? Or are you now laughing with them or at them? Uh, 
I'm laughing with them and then it makes me smile because it's cute. <laughs> It'll help keep things interesting. What do you say? Fine by me. You can appreciate the nuances of this world's sustenance far better than I can, I, uh, I expect. Oh my god, words. Selection so of spice. Spicy. A colorful era of spices peer out from hemp and sacks. Oh! Which one are you going to consider? Crimson, black, red, or yellow? What color is crimson again? Red. So there are two red options? Yes. I'm gonna go with the first one then, I think. What do you want? Um, I'm assuming we're not gonna pick these, like, directly. I'm assuming he's just gonna have us look at them. I already, already uh, selected the top one. Oh, okay. It's the same as me. Bright red in color, this powder is hot just to look at. It will likely induce a healthy sweat when consumed. Ooh, it is spicy. You want to spice Wait. or do you want to go back at, you want to select it or go back and look at the others? I want to read all of them before choosing. I, I kind of figured. I did I the same it. thing with the care, with the, with the... Girthy carrots. <laughs> mm, nothing quite like girthy carrots. Mm. <laughs> I mean, they could be they could be bananas. I mean, it's not about the girth. It's about how you use it <laughs> in cooking. In cooking. Cooking is what we were talking about. Does not make it better. <laughs> Luna! I need that girth inside my mouth. Wow. Wow, okay. Ah. Uh. I think you might be dating the wrong person. It's just so much more satisfying when it's more filling. <laughs> oh God. Welcome to my stream. Uh, I know, I love Dan Rugs. Basically, Dan Rugs, like, first kind of experience the stream is watching, hearing me just be an absolute idiot. Yes, welcome to my stream. And if you're new, hi, meet my boyfriend, Blue. He's weird. <laughs> I mean, I, I heard, first heard this phrase today, and I love it, so I'm going to use it. What phrase? Basically, I am basically. Am Aren't we all uh, a bit weird? Yes. I am Sorry. one brain cell trying to find a third. <laughs> That's such a mood. Oh god. Oh, that is such a mood. Okay, I'm gonna read about the aromatic black. Corns. These corns tickle your nose with their pungent yet enticing aroma. One can imagine them lending, lending dishes an appetizing accent. That sounds very fancy. Little I mean, red husks. The way they're described, where as far as they look, it's like wow, this is like a like peppercorn. That's literally it, black pepper. <laughs> These hey, thank you so much for the follow. I'm glad you're enjoying it here. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
These tiny husks give off a citrus-like scent. Ooh, perhaps they will imbue dishes with a zesty note. Oh, I do like citrus. Ooh, this is making me reconsider. Do I want hot and sweaty spices or do I want citrus? I like it hot and sweaty. <laughs> I see. <laughs> um, coarse yellow flakes. These flakes appear to have been grated from a thick root. Their sharp aroma suggests a bracing flavor. All right, do I want super spicy or do I want citrusy? Now I'm actually thinking I'm gonna go with the little red husks because I like citrus. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Yes. What did you take? Did you take the oh same boy. one or the first one? No, I took, I took the top one, the one that's supposed to be hot. All right, what does it say? A small sample of supremely stimulating seasonings. Oh. All right. Oh, like, the, oh, this. No, what are you saying? You said the same thing for me. Ah, ah, that's a fine choice, but don't take my word for it. Here, have a taste. So the same. Yeah, it was All the same. Right. Cat thinks like me, heck yeah. Yay. All right. Zero may wish to observe your reaction. It would be considerate to sample the spice in her presence. Taste the spice in Zero's presence. Yeah, my bag is spicy. Small. Do I just need to be Do I need to be targeted to her? No, you do not target her. All right, just near her. I am actually not that at all, Sora. My older brother is though. My little brother like, like when spicy he goes, like, food. Have, when he goes to have buffalo wings. In his mind, if you're not crying by the time you're done, it's not hot enough. So what's really weird for me is that I have never liked spicy food. My mouth cannot handle spicy food. But something just clicked in my brain during this winter where I'm like, oh my god, I want to eat. Okay, when I say spicy food, I mean spicy for me. Uh, I want to eat spicy food. I like the burning <laughs> I don't know what happened I don't know what happened but it doesn't seem to be going anywhere for some reason I'm enjoying spicy food now again I can't tolerate spicy food that much so what I consider spicy you might not consider spicy but for what it feels like spicy to me I'm enjoying for the first time ever I would say I'm like a like a 7 out of 10 on, on spice um, but if it's not, if it's below seven, I'm going to be constantly, oh, needs more, needs more, needs more, needs more. But if it goes above seven, I'm going to be like, oh no, I am dying. <laughs> Spicy food is the best. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It's kind of like my coffee thing. Forever, forever I drank my coffee black. And then one day something snapped in my brain and I was like, I want milk in my coffee. Have not gone back since. I don't know where that came from. It was just one morning I woke up and I was like, I want milk in my coffee. This happened the same way. I never wanted anything to do with spices. Just one day I woke up and I was like, I want spices in my food. Yeah, like, damn wrong. Definitely from what I've heard. Um, I usually like my spice maybe like a tick below a like what would be considered spicy there. So probably what you like what would be considered mild there is what I would prefer. From my experience anyway. And I am, I agree with that about garlic. Garlic is amazing. I love garlic. 
some people who think mayo is spicy Jesus. What I consider enough, many consider inedible. <laughs> oh, wow. Growing up in Germany, some people would think mayonnaise is spice. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't get caught eating mild spice here. K Dameron, where are you from? Uh, Southeast Asia. Oh! Yeah, when he said growing up in S E S E A, yeah, Southeast Asia. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I didn't get that. All right. <laughs> Y'all can go talk to my GF, then she loves garlic so, so much. For me, that's just... I don't want there to be too much. In moderation. You tentatively place some of the spice on your tongue. A tingling, tangy numbness grips your mouth. A veritable it's blaze numbing? engulfs your mouth. Wait, what? A veritable blaze engulfs your mouth. Mine is numbing me. That doesn't sound like citrus. There is no such thing as too much garlic? Oh god. There might be for people who have to um, smell your breath. Well, then, no goodnight kiss for you. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing, Blue. Uh, mm -hmm. You say you don't like onions. Absolutely hate onions. Onions are the bane of my existence. I love onions, and I use that in cooking a lot. Well, then I'm not eating your cooking. But here's the thing. That's also something that you can uh, smell when someone's eaten that. Can you handle that? Can you kiss uh, me if I've eaten onions? Uh, if you, after you've like maybe even like taken a bite of an onion, absolutely not. But if it's like I've used onion in cooking and I mean, it depends on how like forward how the onion is. is in the in in the cooking. Onions is life. Let's put it this way. Whenever they working, working at a restaurant it. where I had like at one point like they put me on uh, cutting onions. Just doing that made me throw up. For me, it just makes me cry. <laughs> onions are heavenly when you start cooking anything with it. Yes. Uh, every possible meat food, always onions. Onions plus meat. That combo is just... Yeah, I love onions. If there's onions in it, I'm not gonna eat it. Unless it's, I mean, unless it's... No, I'm hungry! So the, <laughs> unless it's made it so the consistency is, like, not there. Like... I can have like I can have soups that have onions in it, unless uh like. Is it the like... texture that's the issue or the taste? Both. All right. I think it was the taste at first, but the uh, texture is now like kind of like connected in my brain to onions at all, and so just like wow. just the crunch alone of it, knowing like. I love it. I love it. Just, it just like instantly will like actually make me throw up. <laughs> it's hilarious. It, it's so hard for me to go out to eat though because onion is everywhere. Well, not only that, but I like I am very, very good at eating most vegetables. 
except that there's three that I'm not good at. And it's the three most common, I think, in worldwide for cuisine. <laughs> Lettuce, tomato, and onions. It's so hard to go out to eat almost, especially if it's a, uh, a, a foreign restaurant. Tomato? Because, yeah, yes, tomato. Quite often, you'll get like, they'll put the. Oh, is, um, it, is it just the, the tomatoes as tomatoes, or is it like tomato sauce? Tomatoes are technically a fruit, yes, but uh, at least here, they most often get classified with vegetables as far as like the way most people think about them. But yeah, technically, tomatoes are a fruit, but just like Luna said, we... tomatoes are just mostly put with vegetables in terms of like how they're used. Yeah. Oh, definitely how we, how they're used in cooking, especially. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like uh, quite often, whenever when I go to like to say a uh, restaurant, they'll like put a foreign dish and they'll, like maybe list it. Like, oh, it has, uh, I don't know, it's it uses this meat and with this spice. And you order it, all of a sudden has this other stuff. But it's like you didn't say that was in there. So it's literally I'm having to go to the men the menu. Is there less tomato onions in this? You Is can't eat them at all. Yes. Generally, no. What? You're gonna be a difficult one to feed. Yeah, I know. You should see me when I go to get a uh, burger. Can I get my burger with ketchup, mustard, and only because I'm a giant child? Unless you can, unless I can find a good mushroom Swiss burger. Ooh, that's so good. I always love how we manage to do rail these streams. <laughs> and it's these food way again. more often since I started coming on to these too. Well, I think we found the found the reason for those. <laughs> Sora, I'm gonna guess you top your burger with raw onions and caramelized onions. I can guarantee the looks of disappointment from the ones preparing your burgers. <laughs> but yeah, about tomato. Is it like tomato as a tomato or is it like also like tomato sauce and stuff like that? Hello? Sorry, I was like reading chat. I thought you were talking specifically in chat. What was that? With tomatoes, is it like you can't eat like tomatoes, tomatoes, or is it does it affect like tomato sauce and all of that too? Generally, not tomato sauce. I don't know why. That is, I guess, just a weird mental block. Hmm. The food talk starts about the same time every stream. Really? <laughs> I mean, we kind of had going on about food for a while, or since we're talking about the recipes in the game. And we're talking about the fake <laughs> eggplant. I need to fake start lo looking into that. The fake eggplant is so that. good. Last burger I had had lettuce, tomato, and onions, so basically it would have killed blue. Don't all burgers have that? I feel like every burger has lettuce, tomato, and onions. They're like the basic components. Honestly, sorry, I could eat that if you just take off the caramelized onions. The other stuff, I'm like, spiced pickles and fried cat kimchi, <gasps> I'm taking it or leave it. Um, yeah. You don't like ketchup, Tamara? Oh, I put that everywhere. Well, I mean, ketchup is basically like, like, it's like it's, it's tomato like juice with sugar. Yeah, this is what I'm, I was about to say. This is what it's what you put in kids' food so that they will eat it. <laughs> All right, shall we try to attempt yeah, like, to so make a little bit of progress, maybe? If I was going to be a burger, it would be mushrooms, Swiss, uh, bell peppers. Bell peppers are great. Um, 
And I'm sure that I could get like other creative That's things over if they're there. But don't bell peppers have kind of the, a similar kind of texture as onions? Not really, not in my mind. Consist... the... yeah. Avocado, that's not... avocado's good. Sweet potato fries are the best kind of fries. Hi, Sethi! Sounds like you need to buy the FF14 Sethi, cookbook. I will have all the mushrooms you don't eat. I like mushrooms, too. You don't like zucchini or eggplant? I mean, to each their own. Like, we're all talking about the things that, are, yeah, everyone likes and dislikes different things. What kind of onions have you had, Kat? No, I mean, like, if you take a bite of an onion and you take a bite of a bell pepper, the texture is kind of similar. It has the same kind of, a uh, crunchy. I... I mean, I would disagree, but... Different taste! Different taste, but the texture. That's... Ooh, Sethi, that's so cool <gasps> that you have that. Could he be a Fisher and Walker one. art book. Wait, really? Yes. <gasps> I'm so jealous. Oh my god. Love it. I need to say what my burger was. That's what distracted us. Let's carry on with MSQ immediately gets distracted again. Yes. I literally kind of cut cut off as he just as she was saying that my burger is <laughs> <sighs> Alright. Your reaction speaks volumes. That will suffice then. Always a pleasure, Mr. Zero. And do give murder my regards. All right, but we're gonna blame the game for distracting us because they start at the food talk. Wee! Oh yeah, your Peloton got a buff, by the way. Wait, what? Your Peloton got a buff. What are you talking it about? It reaches a bigger area now. What are you talking about? You're like making everybody dash thing. It got a buff. It like in, instead of being thirty yams, it's now fifty yams. My fearless. Yes. Also. Oh, that's gonna be like, nifty. A ton of things. A ton of oh to thirty. Okay, whatever. Damn you, game! Distracting us with interesting topics to discuss. Right. Check this out. Check this out, guy. Like a bunch of things got a buff. And here's how big my size is now. Um, sorry, as, uh, Asylum is now. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Whoa, that's a big bubble. Yeah. All, like, almost all bubbles are this big now. It's ridiculous. <gasps> that's gonna be the entire arena. Yeah, and it's not just healer stuff as well. Um, uh, bar stuff got, uh, buffed to 50 yams. Um, like, almost everything from the bar, as far as buffing the party, got buffed to 50 yams. Same thing with dancer stuff, it got buffed to 50 yams. Basically, almost anything, uh, the, uh, AOE heals for, uh, so the AOE healing zones for healers, as well as party buffs, got buffed to 50 yams, for the most part. Now it's like, it, you have to be literally in the wall to not get buffed. It's, it's awesome. Sorry, I'm distracted. Please, 
Oh, this Lunatic. is spice. This is spice. Alright, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Dancing on a stage and not on a table, you've changed. I know. Of I'm course, so ashamed. Cyril. It would be my pleasure. Well, now, this is enough to make a whole kettle of your special curry. I don't need that much. Rest assured, it's easy enough to make a serving just for you. Or we could make the kettle and share it. There would be enough not only for your companions, but other diners as well. I dare say everyone will be delighted. Very well. A full kettle, then. Excellent. We'll prepare it at once. And for your excellency and our esteemed adventurer, are you happy to try a bowl of Zero's curry? We can make yours milder if you prefer. Grateful though I am for the offer, I cannot fully appreciate the flavor with this vessel. Another time, perhaps. Do not hold back on my account, my friend. Eat and enjoy. Then I'll have His Excellency's helping. And I could have mine a touch milder. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go with the first one. Three, two, one, go. Understood. Please make yourselves comfortable. Gladdens me to see you taken to life in Rad's at hand, Zero. In the area of our cuisine, not least of all. Spicy dishes have long been favored in our sultry clime for their ability to wet the appetite and cool the body. Of course, spices also have the effect of preserving foods, which makes them highly coveted in foreign lands. All of this has given rise to a thriving spice industry, and the wealth it brings has allowed our nation to prosper while maintaining its neutrality. So you trade your spices? Seems rather more complicated than trading in ether. <laughs> in the beginning, this land was no more than refuge for me. But now it is my home, and the people of Radzat Han, my beloved children. Together, we build this vibrant nation. And naught will please me more than to show it to my sister one day. Vibrant. Wubikante said the same when he described this world. A reminder of all that has been stolen from us. What many who remember, doubtless yearn to take back. Our home is a lost cause. Our only choice to begin anew. In this world, where we may reclaim our mortality. Nonetheless, it's wrong to damn another to save yourself. As I told Rubicante, as I found myself moved to speak, I still do not understand what made me feel this way, nor what compels you mortals to help one another. But I hope to someday. We do hope that you will find the answers you seek. What? 
What is going on? What? What's happening? Food is happening. Compliments of Mistress Zero, the Sartrap's honored guest. We are serving a special curry for anyone who wishes to partake. But be warned, it is not for the faint of heart. Free food, I'll be there. <laughs> oh, by all means, I'd welcome the challenge. I love the bread that style. Sisters have mercy. The smell alone is. Oh. Ooh. This is making me hungry. Oh. It burns. It burns. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, non. That's what it's called. Non. Thank you. To better maintain the facade, the alchemist ensured that my vessel was capable of consuming food. However, I fear Zero's curry would test the limits of their design. Now I want spicy food. Apologies for the delay. Please relax and enjoy your meal. Relax. I don't have time for that. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Come. Let's replenish our ether. <laughs> <laughs> that makes her her. No, and it's just so good, right? There's, oh. a, there's actually an Indian place near uh, near me. Maybe I should. Yeah, when I wake up tomorrow morning, uh, tomorrow afternoon, I'm probably just gonna go there and grab some. That sounds really good. You're making me hungry. My whole life flashed before my eyes, and it was exhilarating. I thought the spices were we picked were perfect. I want to see the first because it's funny. I think it like if it was like real, the second would be more you, because you're not one to, like oh my god I want to like be crying from spicy. Also the drink that both of us have oh that like, obviously like the, the texture is a little weird with uh, how it looks in Zero's glass, but what they're going for ooh that looks like it would be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I want to go with the first one. All right. Three, two, one, go. I trust you have eaten your fill. No. Give me. I shall have Marid prepare a meal for us to take to Estinian. I suspect he too is overdue a replenishment. <laughs> Does Estinia need spicy hour, food? He will have retired to his chambers at Magaduta. Come, let us pay him a visit. Does Estinia seem like the person who would eat Everyone's spicy food? Everyone's all passed food? out from the curry. That's a good sign. Ah! Oh, 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 the spicy curry has left you slightly flushed and set your heart racing. Whatever challenges await, you are ready to face them head on and with feeling. Whenever, whenever I hear the phrase with feeling, I just think about the ARR Hildy quest where you have to massage him. Because in there it says, once again, with feeling. Ah, never before I have felt such splendid menstruations. Oh my god. Hildy is fun. I, that quote will always be locked in my mind, and also where I uh, get my Hildy voice from. For, like, for those not in the know, um, me and Kat are both fans of a uh, YouTube channel called Grinding Gear. They're so and good. When yeah. When they were going through uh, Hildy, one of them said that 
the guy who's normally plays tank said that and the guy who plays healer clipped that and for i think he said he was gonna he was he didn't do it but he said he was gonna make it a, into a macro that every time he healed his friend it would automatically play him saying that Ah, uh, never before have there supposed to splendid menstruations. Oh boy. Alright, All right, ready? Oh, I clicked already! Oh, well, it goes like this, that's fine. Yeah, my one regret with my. Ooh! I see someone! Mm hmm. Are you okay? <laughs> They're struggling. They had some of the curry and they are struggling. Aww, can I, I'm gonna pet. Are you okay? Have you been eating curry? Oh, I like, love the flower. That's pretty. And there he goes. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> You made Blue gr cry. Cry tears of, tears of sadness because I'm knowing that spicy. I can't have this curry for lunch tomorrow. It's kind of where um, all you guys live, but here it is very, very, very common that Indian places for lunch will do a uh, all-you-can-eat buffet. Well, since I am, oh, I have always been like, oh no, spicy food, no, thank you. Um, oh, they I don't, I don't do really go to those places. Although they, uh, now that now that this has changed, maybe I will. The places here will definitely not do actual spicy curries or stuff like that for the audience because they got to make it so everybody can eat it. So if you actually do want to have the spicy stuff that you probably do, uh, uh, Demeron, you probably would have to uh, order it like uh, a la carte. So it's either do you want your spicy or do you want your quantity? I've only seen Chinese all-you-can-eat places around here. Because I am in Nevada in the USA, state of Nevada, every sushi place here is all-you-can-eat. Those tend to be, yeah. Uh... It's so it's so weird, but how can, like how it ended up that way. It's like this random. This one random state, this one random region in USA that is a desert, and all the all you can eat sushi places, all you can eat. Sushi is one of those things that I will just keep eating until I'm sick, <laughs> until I'm in you pain. Would love it. I love sushi so much. I keep eating until I'm so sick that I'm hurting. Just make sure you eat your rice, because if you don't eat your rice, you get charged extra for that. Wait, what? It's all you can eat sushi, not all you can eat sashimi. So if you get people that don't eat the rice, they'll like just eat the fish and leave the rice. You get charged extra for that. My brain is breaking. People, you have a sushi. People will take the fish and not eat the whole thing? Because they want, this, they, yeah, they want, they want to get all you can eat fish and not Oh come on. Up on the rice. People do that? That's not sushi, that's just fish. Oh yeah, it's it's you're right. It's it's sashimi, it's not sushi. And like if you're actually just buying the stuff like a la carte, that obviously makes no sense. Eating sushi without rice? What kind of monster does that? I no, I, know. I completely agree. I completely agree. Never want to meet those people. But yeah, like there's like we like er, I used to work at one of the places. And I hope was... their sleeves slip down when washing their hands. What a weird thing to say, but I love it. <laughs> I think I would like maybe like about one person every other day would have to charge extra for leftover rice. 
I've never heard that people would do that. This must be a US thing. I yeah. guess. I've never ever heard of anyone who would do that. What the heck? Oh my god, I love sushi. Sushi is amazing. But yeah, like, it was Streaming makes me hungry. <laughs> I wish we could have done that. Smack the hit back at people's hands like that. Mm. But then again, also, a lot of the sushi here is uh, not typical, like... And I'm putting quotes around this authentic sushi, whatever, because, like, like, whatever, uh, I think we're, like, one of the only places in the world that do mostly, like, rolls the way we do it, which is just a, a bunch of different things all crammed into one roll. So, more, even more than California rolls, like, I would, like, you'll, like, take, like, five, like, California rolls, like, three ingredients. Take maybe three or four ingredients to the inside and put three or four more on top of it. And that's what a typical roll is like here. Chicken katsu curry, ooh, that sounds good. All right, I'm getting hungry again, so um, let's do some MSQ. <laughs> Blue? Yeah, hang, hang on. So this is what a typical American sushi would like. Like, no, like, definitely not makis, because makis are very pretty simple. Something like this. What? That's, that's not right. That's, oh, God. Yeah, that's a, it, it's a lot. Poor sushi, what did they do to you? You can't even s taste the sushi thingy anymore. It's just... I don't know what the heck you would even call that. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I oh, know, that doesn't look right. So you can still get regular nigiri? You can can still get regular nigiri or a typical uh, uh, maki roll, uh, like uh, you were saying, um, Damron. Um, and that's usually my preferred way of uh, having it. But this is just something Americans did with sushi. And if you yeah, didn't, our if you sushis sushi do not look like, like this, that. You go out of business real quickly. Our sushis do not look like that. No, that's that doesn't look right. Burn it before it lays eggs! <laughs> yeah, like a Calif- like, if you actually get, like, actual sushi, like a California roll would be more- Marika, why? Like, spe like, special exotic, you're almost putting too much into it with just, like, with just that. Why do you guys do that to food? Yes. <laughs> Can Japanese will commit Sudoku see that? <laughs> My god! Why? And it, it's, it's hilarious, however, because I've heard so many stories. That first one, going. that first one is traumatizing. Yeah, the first one, that's a lot. That's traumatizing. That's like, like, I, I feel bad for the poor sushi. Let's see, yeah, you got the... Spicy crab on top, sriracha, that's honey mustard. You got tempura shrimp. Um, top is probably salmon, maybe seared salmon. Um, what else has it got in there? That's it's just... got some tempura onion. Yeah, it's got tempura onion in there My as well. My god. Oh, I love that. That's cute. Yes, yeah, sriracha. My god. If I'm, say if I'm saying that incorrectly, please let me know. Yeah, it's got uh, probably, it looks like tempura onion and tempura shrimp inside with uh, salmon on top, 
It might be seared salmon. And let's see, the second one. Are all sushis there like that? That's got do, 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 temper onion. Do you do you guys have normal sushi as well? Oh yeah, we definitely have normal sushi as well. Oh thank God. A temper onion. That's either. Uh, what kind of terrorist invented that way of making sushi? I know I it's asparagus. horrible. Asparagus. The second one has asparagus in it. We are vegan of vomit now. <laughs> that first one is disgusting. Why? Just and the th on the third one that has the three pick uh, three of them, the one on the left is I would think that would be most places have that listed as a uh, a dragon roll. That's tip. That's that style is very typical, so I can recognize that. But yeah, I've um, definitely heard stories of uh, Americans apparently going to Jap uh, Japan going out for sushi and expecting that because they've been told their whole lives that's what sushi is that's what sushi is that's what sushi is that's what what america is it's not sushi it's shush Oh my god, I, I'm traumatized by that first image. I'm still traumatized. Like, that's just, that's no. That's, don't, please don't do that. That's. Uh, if you want more, just right. Google image search American sushi. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid. I will do no such thing. Yeah. So, one last. One one last funny story about uh, sushi or before the place that I worked at. So, um, it was a sushi place, uh, and it was right next to a um, Chinese place, Chinese food place. And by Chinese food, I mean like Americanized Chinese food, which was mostly just deep fried chicken thrown in a, in a Chinese inspired sauce. That's what typical American Chinese food is. No, Frank Boo, like I actually like you can like go to uh sushi here and get the real kind of sushi just fine. It's you just no need to know to order like nigiri. It's real easy. Add the term American sushi to the block list. <laughs> anyway, so um it was actually owned by the same people, the, the Chinese place and the sushi place, and we had shared the same kitchen. Um, and it was owned by this one Chinese family. Almost every single person that worked there was Chinese, except for uh, a few uh, Mexicans that worked in the kitchen, um, someone from a, a server that was from El Salvador, and me. <laughs> Ramsey to review the sushi. I, he, trust me, he knows about the way sushi is here. Um, we had this one um, person come into uh, come in they went to the uh, sushi bar and you could tell they were just like full weed full teenage weed and they just sat down to look at the sushi chef and just went konnichiwa with like the two double like piece of uh, peace sign fingers just super like over the top about it and he, he was just like super shocked doesn't know how to react and just goes uh I'm Chinese. <laughs> and the person had the most mortified face I've ever seen on anyone ever. And just went head down, trying to make it not eye contact with anyone, and just quietly had their sushi, didn't say anything for the rest of the time, just completely just mortified by what they had done. It was hilarious. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> Dies of cringe. It was, all, it was so funny. Just like quiet pause. Uh, oh. I'm Chinese. Oh, that was fantastic. All right, shall we continue? Yeah, let's go. Welcome back.
back. Thank you. Master Sidian? Yes, he has returned to his chambers. I shall be happy to escort you. Proceed to Estinian's chambers. I would love to. I know you would. Estinian, are you there? We've brought something for you. All right, I'm paused. Three, two, one, go. Oh boy. Oh boy. I enter. He sounds like he's been doing something. With me. <sighs> oh, sweating with you? <sighs> yes! <sighs> Squid masala from the Mehane. I thought you might enjoy it. Masala, eh? I prefer my squid dried, but I'm sure it won't disappoint. My thanks. Can't stop drooling. <laughs> in our sorceress's absence, I see. Can I keep I drooling? I can't offer much in the way of entertainment, but make yourselves <laughs> comfortable. Shall we disrobe as well? Whoa! Hello! <laughs> he will make himself presentable at once. I am sure. Oh! Hello! I'm liking this patch. Everyone get naked! Wow! Oh, is, is it hot in here? Like for what it's worth, everyone, I mostly am just je in jest because I th find it fun. But I definitely know people who would love that scene. Oh, that was, that was a whoo. <clears throat> At last, we've been looking for you. My <sighs> friends, tell me, were you able to devise a way to return to the 13th? I We're supposed so. to be focusing on it stuff after a visit that. To the moon, where I took the opportunity to enlist Orionje's assistance. Ishtola hath told me all. I should be glad to help you free Ashdaya and put an end to Golbez's dark plot. If Rubicante spoke true, both Golbez and Ashdaya are on the moon of the thirteenth. Unlike here in the source, however, we have no means of making the journey from the surface of the star itself. The technology simply does not exist. Therefore, I propose that we employ a gate to deliver us directly to our destination. Is such a feat possible? In theory, having once been a single hole, the source and its reflections share striking similarities in geography. And according to a certain someone, who unceremoniously whisked us away to the first, the same locations across the worlds are intrinsically bound. All of which is to say, were we to pass through a gate on the source's moon, it should lead us to the moon of the 13th. Of course, there is the risk of Voidsent gaining entry to our world. Thus did I decide to seek Orionje's counsel. Both the Watcher and the Loperitz are aware of our proposed endeavor. While they are yet deliberating precautionary measures, they have pledged their full cooperation. You've been busy. I presume you've also found a way to open this gate. Be it in Radzat Han or Shalian, scholars have long cast their gaze unto the endless dark of the void. 
And so, with Harnish insights to augment our knowledge, we have indeed conceived of a promising plan to pierce the veil. A plan I am confident will succeed, precisely because the moon is our stage. The preparations will be extensive, and we will require vast quantities of ether. After all, our gate must be large enough to accommodate another great worm. My proposal entails delivering copious amounts of ether to the Tower of Babel in Garlemald. As you will recall, Fan Daniel used the structure to destroy the brands imprisoning Zodiac. And we, in like manner, will use it to channel ether to the moon, and thereby open our gate. I see. Then we shall need someone on the moon for the necessary rituals. Just so, Your Excellency. I intend to head back anon for that very purpose, as well as to help devise our strategy to deal with invading Voidscent. Along with our lunar allies, we will once again require the assistance of your alchemists, Nidana not least of all. May I trouble you to serve as their escort? Fine by me. The room was beginning to feel constraining. For my part, I shall oversee the requisite tasks on the star. Might I prevail upon you for your assistance? If all are in agreement, then let us set to work. We'll open our gate. And we will stop, Golbez. Well, that was distracting. Whoa. The Dark Throne. Hello, we have a name drop. <sighs> Whew. We made it through one whole quest. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, thank you, I think. I'm wrong. Um, weird thing about the uh, Barshan's clothes. It's kind of like a, like a three, uh, three parter. Oh my god, I need to catch up with chat. I was waiting to see your reaction to that. Yeah. That caught me so off guard when I first heard that. That was awesome. Is it hot in here? No, that's just Justinian. Justinian is not really my type, but I can see that he's hot. Oh. Alright, so yeah, so it's sexy kind of... when she gets all brainiac. Aww. But yeah, like the yeah, Bashan, Bashan's gear is kind of a three part thing. So, uh, first, um, the clothes that he wears is it kind of diverse from the other scions. The uh, clothes that the uh, scions have are like unique and designed from the ground up to be seen in cutscene. Um, so that's why they have like extra de the extra detail as opposed to Varshan's, which is just a not only a standard NPC but also a set of clothes that was I, I assume when they first made it was intended to be worn by us as us because that is literally gear for multiple different uh, sets, both combat and uh, crafting. So it's naturally going to have less detail than normal. Um. And then on top of that, they, for whatever reason, maybe because they, they picked that uh, set because it looks good um, from afar, because it does look good on him from afar, 
up close, it just it tends to be a set that has less detail than normal, I guess. So it just like happened to be okay. This is the one they chose and has less detail. Whatever, it still looks good from afar, and everyone's kind of like hand waves it. Everyone kind of knows this. The engine is like limited for the most part. All right, can we continue? Yes, we can. Yes. Going home. Going home. Oriange wishes to depart at once. All right, Oriange. If one and all are ready, let's set forth. Our preparations are complete. If I may, I beg a moment to, to exchange this vessel for its grown counterpart. It is in the keeping of alchemist. Is it in the keeping of that? Uh, it is in the keeping of the alchemist of the High Crucible. Of course, we shall accompany thee hither, thither, and thence begin our journey. Orianger is a fun read. It's gonna be fun to read him out loud in his voice. Yeah, exactly, damn wrong. Uber danger. Um, is the plaza gonna be easier? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the plaza. Cause you don't have to go up. Whee! Was I able to reach you? See, that's you did. new. That's new. stairs. Right. <laughs> Who wants those? Ooh! Alright. My apologies for the delay. Happy lurking! Is... Sorry. My, that is a striking simulacrum indeed. Well suited to the work ahead, no doubt. Doubt not. Allow me to explain Yishtola's plan in greater detail. Mm -hmm. Nod. No, nod. Uh, as you know, we seek to open a void gate in Mar Limitorum, that we might gain direct passage to the moon of the 13th. Whilst our comrades labor upon the moon, we must, we must needs accomplish two tasks. Must needs. Ugh. I'm trying. No, 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 you said it right. I was just... Oh, okay. That's, that's still, like... Yeah. See, I didn't even know what I said, and so I just to see if you were correcting me. No, that was just me again realizing that whole must-needs. It's been breaking my brain since the first day of playing this game. The first is the procurement of a substantial quantity of ether, and sub sub subsequent delivery of it onto the Tower of Babel. Said, said structure was once used to siphon the land's essence by way of the Tulafare spires. Such a method, however, doth pose an unacceptable risk to the greater ethereal, ethereal balance of our world. Thus, we must seek an alternate means of conveying our requisite resource. Our second task doth pertain to use the Tower of Babel itself. You may recall that this portal of portal unto the moon was placed under the supervision of the Ilzebar contingent. If we were employed to different ends, we must first obtain the contingent's express permission. I should like to believe they will not refuse us, so perhaps we should concern ourselves with the Aether problem first. Have you any idea whence we might source the vast quantity needed? 
I, a likely location doth come to mind. Let us, let us make for the airship landing. There I shall reveal more. Rats on Han has an airship landing? I guess it does. At least he's a little less Shakespearean now. Yeah, that must needs always, like, I always notice that. Because it's just... Oh, yes it does. Look at that. Huh. Airship landing. Has it always been there? Probably? Was I able to reach you? That goes yes. so far now. That's gonna be useful in dungeons. Yeah, boss hit everybody now, it's great. You literally have to be inside of a wall where it's like way far behind not to get hit by buffs. All are present and accounted for? Excellent. We shall travel to Charlian, and then seek the nearby Isle of Ham. Mmm, Ham. <clears throat> Near unto the surface of Hangi? this isle do rivers of aether converge. Ah, uh, I, I, I am a bit peckish. I'm I was hungry for I, this of all the food talk. I was hoping to have a bit of curry, but nonetheless. The churning energy of this confluence is released by the way of geysers. Originally, the Ragnarok was to be powered by Aether Hobbitsid from the Isle. Ragnarok! But, but as well you know, an alternate power source was ultimately found for the vessel. Passes onto Ultima Thule, to the very limits of existence, was considered by not less the strength of the Mother Crystal herself. As such, the Isle of Han's vast aether deposits remain untouched. We may help ourselves to that energy, provided we are able to, to source the forum's permission. Secure. Secure. Yet again with needing permission. Is nothing straightforward in this world? Such is the nature of politics, I fear. And as the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have been officially disbanded, no longer are we recon a recognized collective. A somewhat disadvantaged position, bureaucratically speaking. Fortunately, Might however... Might drop that word. Bureaucratically? Oh, God. Fortunately, yes. however, there is a recognized and respected body upon which we might prevail. The students of Baldusian. While arriving in Charlian, let us seek out our friends at the Annex. Gave you the cover, Ragnarok minion? That's <gasps> awesome! That's so cool! Whoa, that's a lot of people! Such as MSQ after a patch. Is that you or me? I cannot that's... see. I'm gonna take it because you have so many. Welcome back, Cat. What brings you here today? And in such colorful company. There were even more yesterday? Oh, I bet. Greetings, Ojika. On this occasion, we are, we are come to seek the student's assistance in a matter of some urgency. In that case, you'll want to speak with Kryl. She's in the main hall, sorting through our archives. There's a visitor with her at the moment, but it's no... It's no one you don't know, so feel free to show yourself in. Hiya. Oh! Yeah, I'm not surprised at all, considering the uh, I showed Cat a picture of the uh, all the people gathered around the uh, nodes when it first dropped. That's, That's always crazy. funny. Oh, if it isn't two of my dearest friends. As for the other two, I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Paused. Three, two, one. Not in this vessel, perhaps. Tis I, Vashan. Though, 
You are welcome to call me Vritra, if you prefer. Pay me no mind. I merely accompany them. I pray you forgive us our intrusion. If you are occupied, we shall call again anon. It's quite all right. We've just finished swapping all our secrets anyway. Erinfil occasionally comes and shares the latest gleaner gossip, you see. From forgotten ruins to mysterious relics, if there's aught that might be of interest to the students, he kindly lets us know. Alas, I must soon depart on an expedition. What does he get out of it, though? As I may be away for an extended period, I wish to give Kryal fair warning. Hence my visit today. I see. There are specimens that want for procuring, I presume? No, no. It isn't guildship business, but rather... A homecoming. But enough about me. You have business too, yes? And I'm in the way. Far from it. As a matter of fact, we should be grateful if you could stay and share your knowledge of the nearby isles with us. We seek a means to travel to the void. There, a man named Golbez plots to invade our world. A man who even now holds my sister hostage. I hope we just casually say this in front of Aaron Ball. To that end, hmm. we require a great quantity of ether, which we understand may be had on the Isle of Harm. We came in the hope of exploring how it might best be procured. An invasion from the 13th? Must the stakes always be so dramatic? You have a knack for finding trouble. If cleaners collected world-ending crises, you could make quite a name for yourself in our profession. Hmm. It's true the Isle of Ham is a veritable font of ether, but as it's under the forum's direct jurisdiction, only a privileged few get to set foot there. I myself haven't. So if we want to help ourselves to the Isle's ether, we'll need to secure the Forum's permission. Well, that's gonna go well. Hopefully it goes better than before. Very well. The students of Baldessian recognize your endeavors as combating a grave threat to the world. As representative, I hereby pledge our full assistance. Yay! Now that it's official, you may leave the politics and paperwork to me. Our operations remain small, but we shouldn't meet any undue resistance. We are truly grateful. If I may, According to the original plan for the Exodus, Ether collected from the Isle of Harm was to power the Ark. Art thou perchance familiar with the logistics of this endeavor? I don't know anything about that, I'm afraid. Nor do I think any cleaner would. You might have better luck asking someone involved with the Ark's construction. Margaret, for instance. She's a researcher in Charlie and Hamlet. I met with her for a job recently, and she mentioned working on the Ragnarok's propulsion system. <coughs> you could do worse than to seek her out while awaiting the forum's verdict. We may well do just that. Our gratitude for thine advice. 
And may this threat be but a memory upon thy return. You're quite welcome. Now then, if you'll excuse me. I best start drafting our petition. Go on and find your researcher. I'll contact you as soon as we've made progress. All right. Let us leave matters here to Mistress Kryle and hie ourselves to Labyrinthos. Hi ourselves. Right then, time to put our best foot forward. Oh. A pity you can't tidy yourself. I should have had Ishtola enchant you when I had the chance. And what have we here? Later, Kryl. Later. You've work to do. Ominous. But yeah, I also love Kryl. I'm gonna love seeing her as the face of a new combat class. I'm gonna go grab a banana because I'm hungry. Got it. Food. Mm. All right, where is our questy? Oh, want to give me a ride? Want to go for a ride, bubba? Let me get to um, my big horsey. I love my new horse. Not voiced. Okay. Ooh, visitors, how delightful. If you require assistance, then ask away. It so happens you've caught me in post-deadline bliss. Oh my God, what does that feel like? I'm always chasing the next one. Forgive us the abruptness of our inquiry, but tis our understanding that thou had charge of the Ragnarok propulsion systems. We should like to know how Aether harvested from the Isle of Ham was, was to be stored and transported to the Ark, if the disclosure of such information is permitted. This was not a good idea. Just a sec. Bananas are always a good idea. Yeah, especially I girthy ones. Love big, thick girthy bananas in and around my mouth. Oh, it's no bother at all. We built special tanks that can store ether just like we use casks to store wine. Simple, really. Hi, x rays how you doing? Suck on them was the line that got Luna's line automatic. <laughs> Blue likes to suck on them bananas, got it? Yeah. I mean, he earlier, really loves bananas. Earlier, Sethi had a line that was uh, automated just because he missed an E in uh, a word and it turned into what could have been a slur, but since no one e could have ever mis misinterpreted what they said, I allowed it. I'm so good at getting my stuff automated. This, however, 
was, ooh, <laughs> why? Wait, I read this, yes. Simple but quite brilliant in construction, they rivaled even crystals for etheric capacity. A pity we were never a pity we never got to use them. Ah uh, how muddled and distant the memory. When Doom's deadline loomed large and we extra extricated ourselves from a waist high mire of work only to end up chin deep in another. I was at one with the world, a conduit for the energies of creation, but now, now I am truly alive. Who, who would have thought that sleeping in a bed and eating warm meals could make such a difference? How long had it been since you did that? Jeez. I need that every day, thank you. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it's the face of burnout, how lovely. <sighs> Why, I feel positively functional. I dare say it rivals the thrill of dancing on the knife edge of failure. <laughs> I how, think... like, to be like, oh, I'm exhilarated, I'm so happy, I'm functional. What? Burnout is no joke. Yeah, it is. It is no joke. I've gone through that once in my life. I'm never doing that again. I love when we're just sitting here to like do that, but then like just close. It's so funny. just stares at her. <laughs> she just continues to do it. We are glad for you. Quite. On the subject of the eight of tanks, do you know what became of them? Uh, what did become of them? For the life of me, I can't seem to remember. Again, the face of burnout. Why do you think I have no memory anymore? But I do remember someone who might remember. He should be back by now. Just look for the fellow wearing an outfit that screams, I've been on vacation and you haven't. Very well. We shall seek out this, con this conspicuous colleague of thine. Our sincerest gratitude, Margaret. And do look after thyself. Go rest. Come, let us seek out this individual attired in a manner suggestive of recent furlough, I think is the word. What is furlough? I feel like I have uh, come across that word before, but I don't know what it means. Furlough, suspension or discharge of a worker or workers on account of economic conditions or short charge of work, especially when temporary. Hmm. Ruska Erki. That's a very Finnish name. Alright. Let's go. Onward. And I'm, I'm only using one hand, so this is a little bit tricky. Where are you? Uh, over the bushes. I went past you. No, there you are. Sorry, it's a little bit difficult. Just one handing. Do you know how to move, uh, move forward with one hand? Yeah. I've been- well, I- I came here with one hand. That's very true, you're right. <laughs> it's just not as easy as with two hands. Well, if it isn't this guy. Go 
the oh, first that fun. launched our teeny tiny toy boat. How you been, Blue? Able to catch ah. a bit of rest? I wish. Well, if I don't know about the Aether Tanks, who at Beer Gods Day would? Born right in me very old workshop they were. 11 out of 10 voice. Thanks, Hazy. GG Blue! A pleasure as always, Master Coco. Oh, I wait, 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 I... wait, 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 wait. You're okay. hard to a hit. There we go. A pleasure as always, Master Coco. I trust thy respite prove rejuvenating. And then some! But what, but what? But I won't bore you with the details, at least not without a drink in me. So, why the interests are little old tanks? Permit me to explain. Love the music. I see, I see. I think I got the long and short of it. It goes without saying. But we all owe you more than we can ever repay. If you need our aether tanks, then they're at your disposal. There's just one problem. You need the forum's approval to set foot on the Isle of Ham. Were it up to me, you'd be on the next ship out. But that lot can't wipe their arses unless it's in accordance with procedural motions. You may be, you may be rest assured that my backside is immaculate. Oh my god. <laughs> That's... wow. That's a sentence. Dalek, stop it, dice! Uh, what? Master Foshino! And, and Sc uh, Scholar Montegurgen! <laughs> what a... what a surprise! Close enough. Monty blah blah blah. Monty blah 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 Pardon the intrusion. The forum has delib del deliberated your petition, and we decided to deliver a verdict directly. No. We seem to be needing some balancing again. I would hope that the matter of the pandemonium has not been overshadowed by our or other concerns, but that is discussion for another time. You've been granted special dis desperation to travel to the Isle of Ham for the process of etheric extraction on one condition. And I hear uh, you, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. I love ham. That just... <laughs> that sounds so weird. On account of its rich deposits of aether, the isle is home to, ver to throngs of vicious beasts. We ask you to call any such creatures you encounter. Hence the ham. That's all? Given the vast amount of ether we seek, I expected a far higher price. You wanna take him then? Oh, Monty? Yes. Okay. Oh, believe me, we do not underestimate the value of what you desire. Nay, we simply owe the students of Baldessian and their esteemed collaborators a debt of gratitude, and we felt that expediting your request was a suitable way to repay it. A debt of gratitude? We have taken the liberty of arranging your passage to the Isle of Ham. Your vessel awaits in Scholar's Harbor. Then I'd, I'd better get those Aether tanks loaded onto the airship. We'll be ready to take them where you need, assuming it's safe. I shall head back to the annex, but should you need anything else, don't hesitate to call. He's fun to voice. He's fun to listen to. <laughs> He's fun to read. Whoosh! Cheery That's... captain. Is it? Oh, yes, it is. Look at that! So many people hugging each other. 
I'm in the pile. What next, blue speaking girl voices? Oh, he's done that already. But I will always keep Graha. Bamford voice. Ooh. You look like the ones Master Fortuno told me to expect. All that right. that hair color. That hair color. Kind of reminds me of my hair color when I started. Your first the game. one, yeah. Yeah, I was a purple Just hair. Definitely a bit more pale, but definitely like same shade, but more pale. Oh my god, I can't. Oh my god, it would be nostalgic to see my my old version, my first version of my character with the with the purple hair and ah, and the purple yeah. eyes as well. And sorry, yeah, about me like speak. Yes, speaking like an old lady. Well, um, that, oh, yeah, also already done. <laughs> when me and Kat were first talking about, like, uh, like, voicing characters, like, what an idea that we did have at first, like, maybe occasionally swapping, uh, having her voice the guys and me voice the girls just for giggles one sometime, whatever. Maybe, I would assume that'd be more of a, uh, less of an MSQ stream where we, where, where we could do that. Or if it's, it's more of a uh, for fun type of thing. Yeah. I mean, we have switched around a little bit. Mm -hmm. anyway. We need to do a lot of balancing because there's a lot more guys in this game than there are girls. I mean, that's kind of... So we do need to balance it. That is generally the case in most games, unfortunately. Hopefully, they're, as like time goes on, there can tend to be more balance as far as like representation just in general yeah. but we'll see anyway ready yeah three two one go going you're ready to depart and so am i just say the word let's go is something the matter I did recruit one other to our party, but he is late to arrive. Oh? Bring Graha! Oh. Okay. You're so disappointed! Forgive me my delay. He's good too, but he's no Graha. Tis good to see you. If it isn't Varshan, they do grow up so quickly. <laughs> Raha would never be late for the wall. Good point. Leonje tells me we have a host of exciting new tribulations to face. And you must be Zero. I've heard all about your daring do in Garlemald. A pleasure. Apart from strengthening our company with his redoubtable skill at arms, Thancred may also serve as a mentor in those matters that trouble thee. I speak of the intangible forces which bring souls together. Thancred is possessed of experience both unique and insightful that I am sure he would gladly share with thee. Thou needst but ask. Oh! Ooh, I was not expecting it to be like, I thought we were going to get there first. All right. Oh. oh, look at look who we got here. Hi, Lolly Ho. All right. Lolly Ho. Roll Lally call. Lolly Ho. Who would like to join us for this dungeon? I'm just gonna already mark down Azure Skies, Lily Tang Tang, and Luna V as wanting to join us for this dungeon. Yay! 
Does anyone else want to join? Mr. Zeus. Yeah, you're already here. I am here. Nesma? <sighs> While you do this, actually, I'm gonna take a quick bio break because I've been thinking about that for a while and this is the perfect timing. So I will be right back. I will just, um, let me find a dance here. Let me do some dancing. With my little bird. Oh, my bird doesn't turn. Oh, that's creepy. That is just creepy. Okay, that's fine. All right, be right back. All right. Anyone else wanna join for ether front? Good call, yes, it's Aether Font, no, Aether Front. Thanks, Luna. Just you four, so let me winners are Luna and Nesma. Unless I am mistaken, Nesma, this is actually, like, since I started keeping the record, since I started keeping the list, this is your first time running with us. a dungeon, I specifically mean. This is gonna unlock expert dungeon for me and Cat. Reminder for Cat to read the description for the dungeon. Hiya. Thank you. That is very much appreciated. <sighs> a new dungeon. This is going to be a new dungeon. Wait, what? And it's also going to unlock the, um, yeah. What's that icon the there? Dungeons for you. What's that little icon on, on the quest? That is... that's weird. I, they show it's like, the it's icon like an arrow. It yeah, looks they like show a... the icon during, um, uh, 
like patch notes and stuff where it's like, oh, this is for like a. You're uh, dancing with me. What is it called again? A uh, escort, escort thing. Why is it here? Yeah, I don't know. Oh. So yeah, I guess it just means that quest is taking us to another location. Is what it actually means, as opposed to what we thought it meant from the like. Because everyone else that I saw saw that in the past, and I was like, "Oh, this is what you do." You could say, "Um." A, uh, <gasps> oh, escort. these look so weird. The comedy ones, yeah. Yeah, we have new kinds. Now everything's green. Kind of. <laughs> they look funny. I guess that's why they're comedy. <laughs> North of the Charlian mainland lies the verdant isle of, I would say, Hong, a land long protected by the Forum as an academic asset due to its abundant wells of ether. Yet with plenty often comes peril, and the vicious beasts that live there will not so readily relinquish their claim to the island's lifeblood. Will you secure the energy you need to breach the void or be returned to the very flows of ether you seek? This is gonna be so weird going into content where people have not done it millions of times already. Ooh, Look I can at Nesma all geared up and stuff. It's Ooh. Her 630s and 640s oh. and even a 650. Look at that. You're pretty. -ho. Too bad it's not gonna matter because we're going minimum item level. Let's go! We have a party already? Ooh. Yeah. Welcome on in, everyone. A third front. Oh gosh, minimum item level. Okay. Oh, right! I'm. Oh. Shoot, that's What's up? okay. I'm capped on the green, green ones almost. Forgot about that. That's fine. Ooh, the music. Oh, give me a sec in the beginning. I need to turn up my music. Okay. Oh, it's beautiful. I like the music. Oh, this looks cool. Pretty dungeon. Yeah. Oh, uh, just a sec. Give me. Um, da, 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 da. The Rats at Home music is so loud that I've been. Uh, now that we've been doing MSQ there, I've been keeping the audio a little bit more quiet. All right. So, Nesma, dance with me. Ooh. Oh, it stays calm like- oh my god! It's so weird for me to do content that just came out. <laughs> like the music is making it seem like everything is moving slower than it is. It's not gonna make that much of a difference, I don't think. I love the remix of Charlene's music. It's beautiful.
switch targets so that I don't get aggro. Hi, Maida. Hi, Maida. This patch was so epic. Oh, look at that. He's cute. of the time the boss's first attack hits everyone oh hello that's why i usually pop my shield just before that but now i didn't god it's so big okay right, just different colors oh they're gonna pop Colors didn't matter there. I guess the different colors may, maybe might mean something later. Alright. One's going over here. Because those are big. So I'm guess yeah, whatever they do is big. marker off of me. There it goes. Alright. So which ones are gonna shake, right? Everything shakes. Oh god. So the low ones pop first, okay. the time? Alright. More so now to uh, make sure I keep my dots on. They just buff the. Uh... Especially Pandemonium was awesome. Oh, cool. We'll do that on Monday. <gasps> it's so pretty in here. I love it. Look at the waterfall. Dang, oh, I don't want to fight them. Oh my god, they're adorable! They're adorable!
is a mother penguin with its children. Whoop, I'm pet the air. Aww. I guess I can pet Luna too. <laughs> Luna's, Luna's just as cute as them. Aww. Oh, there's more there. That's adorable. Cuties. I said Luna targeted because of like. Oh, <gasps> sparkly! Targeted. Oh my God! Look at the colors. I paused so many times at this place to cheap pose. Ha <laughs> ha! I can see why. Oh my god, look at the view. <gasps> it's gorgeous! Feeling this, this so far has been super comfy. What? Healing these mobs so far has been super comfy. This whole dungeon is super comfy. Oh, hello. You're pretty. It's Bully Bear! What? Battle cry. Don't cry. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Those don't look good. Oh god. Tiny spot. Oh god. Zap. Cool boss, I like this. It's an AoE hell. I love AoE hells. Oh. Got something. Ooh. Oh, what is that? Ooh, that doesn't look good. That's a bubble. It's a zap bubble. Basically, it was just Volley Bear. What the hell? A what? A uh, character from another game who was a Lightning Bear God. <gasps> oh my god! 
god, this is pretty! I'm sorry, I'm not giving us the speedy thing because I really want to look around. Wow, gorgeous! Alright. This dungeon is so beautiful. This is a really well-made dungeon. I love it. Oh, I made the mangy. I'm sorry. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. A sea monster? That's an interesting arena. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. That sounds They like brought a... back the Kraken from ARR? That's what I was thinking. That's. Oh no! Oh, I know this reference to Final Fantasy IV again. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That is going to hurt. Let me just handle these. There we go. Thank you. With the Final Fantasy IV music, let's go! Alright. We're gonna slide. Alright. Oh, this is cool. I love it. Oh, I can slide cast it next time. Alright, that's probably gonna be pulsed out, so. Nope, it didn't. I 
don't know. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. No. My sprint was really, really, or my dash was really, really late. Like it happened like two seconds after I had pressed the button. Oh god. Um, should I be worried? Oh god! Yes, I should. Ooh. I am just collecting these things. Well, being a collector is fun. I'm not sure how to read this. Like this, like how do I know where? Breathstroke. Oh god. Oh god, okay, okay, I'll be in this corner no. somewhere. Just drop that. Alright. Oh boy, that's not a good place to be in. Yep. GG everyone. I was collecting bone stacks like they were candy that fight. Jesus. Still have to learn that fight, but that's a cool fight. That's a cool arena. Well done, Final Fantasy. <laughs> I don't know how to read those AOEs, like the big ones. Like where they're gonna be. Different stuff with the tentacles, different stuff with the... I don't know. It's Which definitely ones? gonna the take big, a few times big, to The out. big round ones. Because I feel like they're everywhere, and there's like a yeah. little slot where they are not, and trying to see where that is, I don't know what to look at. Because you need to like, know that in advance, before they always pop. Move your cameras around, see where tentacles are. You look at the positions of tentacles. Okay, I need to go through the footage to see what it like means. There's usually an island where there's none of them. Okay. All right, that makes sense. All right, we want to try and get pictures here or uh, do, uh, does either Luna or Nesma want to do them? My God, look at this thing. That's so cool. It seems we're not gonna get, we're not gonna do pictures. That's okay. All right, let's, let's go. go. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I'm too bad with cheap posts. Me too. Me too. Same. Beautiful. 
I'm gonna see this is a voice. That sounded Oh, your taking yes. was fantastic, Luna. I was super comfy that entire time. Yeah, you're a great tank. GG. Much obliged for clearing the way. We'll get to work at once. All right, ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. Mine did the exact same thing that you did. Oh my Not going god! Forward. <laughs> Are you still in the same one? I'm still in the same exact spot. Enabled. Yeah, yeah, I need to press. Okay, alright. But Luna? No, not more than one compliment at a time. I can't handle too much. Well, they are very much earned. Luna, healing for you on tank is healing on easy mode. Let's put it that way. <laughs> All right. Three. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Filling these up will take a good while. I appreciate it if you stood watch till we finished. I ain't getting chewed to chum by some ether bloated bugger. Oh, by the by, where were you planning on putting these to use? We could deliver it by airship, see? Provided it ain't too far. We would need them transported to Galenor, to the Tower of Babel. Ah, that's a long old journey. Too long for a direct flight. Tell you what, we'll send them over with the scheduled shipment of provisions headed that way. I'll make the arrangements as soon as we get back. Save some poor chocobos having to drag this lot through the snow. Chocobos! You have our thanks. We shall not forget your generosity. Everything seems to be proceeding apace. I dare say you would have been fine without me. Why would you say such a thing? You were not bound by contract or the threat of force. And you gain no advantage by devaluing your own contribution. Yet you must be bound by something to speak thus. What is it? It's part of my roguish charm. Hmm. <laughs> A belief, I suppose. Born of our shared struggles. No matter where my comrades go, I have faith they will be fine. For I know that they will walk their chosen path as surely as I walk mine. I trust them, in short. Trite, though it may sound. Trust. I remember the word. How long has it been since last I used it? No. It had no place in my dealings. Not with other void send, and certainly not with Xenos. <laughs> Not even in the time before darkness engulfed the world. Full often did memoriates betray their own. Corrupted by the very power they wielded. You could trust no one but yourself. Alone we fought. And alone we fell. 
It's a sad world. I wouldn't know how to trust. Is there some trick to it? <laughs> Just stay close to this one. You'll learn in no time. Aww. Thanks, Dad Cred. <laughs> Absolutely fine. I confess I thought thou mightst have more words of counsel to offer. Oh, she'll soon get the hang of it, even without my help. After our work here is done, I'll see myself back to the shadows. But before that, I take it you've heard as well. Indeed. The client seeketh Archons, and twould seem our extensive travels and neutrality make us prime candidates. Well, assuming we take on the request, I suspect I'll be stuck with you again. Don't let me down, hmm? Apparently Frank is uh drinking me drinking me now. Wait, what? What did I just hear? Go to the Discord and go to Arden Photos. How do I taste? description of you. Blue is a smooth blueberry flavored energy boost inspired by nature and its endless cycle of rejuvenation. It has her uh, EG. I am guessing what that could be is that could be a plant for uh, 7.0. Chelsea? What are you talking about? Uh, like what, uh, Thancred and, what Dagred and, uh, Ariane were talking about amongst themselves. Have you heard? Oh, I have heard. Mm -hmm. My guess is that's, uh, them talking about stuff that's gonna happen in the next expansion. They haven't really directed us towards a next expansion yet, I feel like. Well, yeah. Normally they would start in uh, point four patch, which is what this is. Oh. But normally also, the uh, oh like kind of post MSQ thing for the previous expansion would be tying up now. So we're kind of not following conventional. So we'll see. Yeah, I agree, EG. Got oh, sli slightly better legs and feet. Mm hmm. And I got a better ring. Or, no, sorry, sorry bracelet. Those are better. Raise my item level by one. Aw, oh, yeah. What about you? What do you get? I've got feet and legs. What'd that get you to, though? Uh, nothing yet. Give me a second. From 610 to 612. I've also been crafting like mad, Jim. I uh, know the feeling. I need my, 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 where is 
Cat will have her crapper gear all set real soon, and she'll be able to craft her stuff. Sure hope you have beaten the legs. <laughs> Oh, been crafting like mad? Me too, because I'm still trying to meld my crafting and gathering stuff. What are you going into this, uh, I'm assuming, since you're saying raid patch, or, uh, what savage, uh, what are you going into with, with savage jam? Any specific job, or just kind of like, we'll see what people need when, if you do beauty finder, what you got going on? All right, well, I ah, that's unfortunate. Let's speak with Uber Danger. Uber Not, not, uh, to not only allow us to use the tanks, but to arrange the transportation to Gollumul besides. Blessed are we to count co coal among our allies. Unto thee we must give thanks, Thankred for coming to our aid on such short notes. Please, you know I'm happy to help. Doesn't he don't hesitate to call on me again. Uh... None of it. P... like, I don't... Yes, PD, no. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Till next time. There it is. All right. Okay. White mage and maybe some sage. Nice, Luna. Like fear to flame, it is time to proceed to the next stage of your plan. With the tank's transportation thus arranged, our first task is complete. We may now turn our attention to the second. To wit, obtaining the blessing of Ilzabad contingent to use the Tower of Babel to channel energy onto the moon. Uh, pause. Uh, did I miss some news regarding FF12? Did you quit or is it on break? Uh, I am this close to finishing Crisis Core, so I want to fin uh, uh, focus on finishing it first so that I can... I want to focus on fewer games at a time. <laughs> So I have, if everything goes as planned, I will only have one more Crisis Core episode to record, and then I can focus on uh, FF12 again. That's the plan. <laughs> Luna, is the Tombstone weapons uh, for this server the um, winners of the uh, design contest? Also, welcome in, uh, Quick Lane. How you doing today? Then yes, I know exactly what staff you're talking about, and it is awesome. You read this, right? To it. Yes. Yes. All right. Our destination is Camp Broken Glass, where we may present our petition to Com uh, Commander Lucia. I think all of them look good, except for the. Uh, um, warrior weapon, which I'm not a fan of. Can't broken glass. I'm afraid to teleport, because then you're gonna be like, yeah, I wanted to take you there. I also got it for free anyway. You did? I still have, uh, Aetherite tokens. I've got 68 still. Oh, nice. I have 93. I don't think Kat has seen all the uh, we uh, the weapons. I might have done it. I'm not sure if I did or not. Which ones? Which set? Oh, you do like it. Nice. Good. Glad to see that. Um, like, like there are people who do like it. It's not for me though. Ah. Uh. Come 
when you jump on a scythe, it's really good. Not on the table. Come dance with me. Pretty please. Wallows in self pity. Come dance with me. Frustrated, really? On the table again? You guys, he doesn't want to dance with me. On the table again? Yes! It's like a stage. Unacceptable. The disrespect to the person who made this table to the no, owner and I am all celebrating it. I am celebrating it. Look, see, I'm not the only one. Absolutely disrespectful. Though they, though they have like devil horns. That doesn't really help my case here, but. Finding way is on the table. Are you gonna be mean at the button bunnies too? I can't control the minions, and besides, for me, he's not on the table. He's to the he's not even close to it. Well, here he is. You're dead. Your disrespect has killed me. If guardians are right, some of us are savages. Ugh. Come dance with me. How's that for dancing? Well, your mouth is dancing. Right, I think he is old as dirt. <laughs> Aww. I will go and sit in the corner. <laughs> this is fantastic. I just love that these people, when they're gonna come out of the cutscene, they're just gonna see us dancing. <laughs> I'm surrounded by animals. Table dancing! Says a lizard. <laughs> animals! See? We just got more. Do you want to continue? Me. Me. At least take off your shoes before you dance on the table. Well, I mean, that would be fair, I think. Aww. I love that you went... You went to stand on the table to do that. <laughs> Blue. I love you. I'm sorry. Aww. <laughs> that was cute. <laughs> you love me, but you're not sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry that I love you. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> Ooh! Here we go. Cat. 
Allow me to personally thank you for your assistance during the recent voids and incursion. Your actions saved many. What brings you here today? Pere, forgive us for not sending word in advance, Commander, but we seek your cooperation in a matter of great import. Oh? Indeed, we appreciate you consulting with us instead of taking unilateral action. It's no simple matter to activate the Tower of Babel, and I speak not only of the technological challenges. Huh, you, you pronounced that right, and I would have gotten it wrong. Uh... Really? Adjective of an action or decision performed by or afflicting only one person, group, or country involved in a particular situation without the agreement of another or the others. So yeah, yeah that taking was, that that was yeah. a, that was a familiar word for me, but I had never read it out loud, so that was a new experience. I had never even read the word. I think I knew the word. There, there's been a lot of um, words uh, that I've heard, like I've learned the word by hearing it and knowing what it means, but never seen it written and never tried to pronounce it. So whenever I come across some of those, it takes me a while to recognize the word. Like when I start to um, try to pronounce it, I recognize, oh, this is this word, I know this. That happens a lot. Thanks for learning me English. Final You're Fantasy welcome. 14. <laughs> Next up, I can teach you Finnish. <laughs> Your brain can't handle that. My brain can barely handle English. <laughs> Same. Personally, I think we must consider the emotional impact of such an action above all else. Maximo. Hello. I oh, know, I'm, I'm thinking of an accident for him. Oh, okay. Take your time. Pending a more official name. No, I don't like that one. This Pending might take a, a while. while. Pending a more official name. We refer to those who remain here as the Guardian com of Community. As you would expect, they are predominantly made of Guardians, most of whom are, are uncomfortable with ethereal manipulation. Yeah, Maximum's great. Maximum, To compound love matters, it. to compound matters, the trauma afflicted by Anima, or by Anima, is still fresh. If the tower is to suddenly light up again, it would cause distress and reopen old wounds. Better that than facing a mass invasion by Golbez and his void sent hordes, surely. Of course, we acknowledge the gravity of the situation, as well as the promised bloodshed that should that we fail to act. Yet, even as we convey our, your warning to the public, even were we to convey your warning to the public, Many simply do not understand the workings of magic or the rift. They will struggle to comprehend why we must be forced to relive personal horrors for the sake of something they cannot imagine. What's there to imagine? Haven't these people seen Void Sent with their own eyes? Let us suppose you encounter someone who is freezing in this cold. A natural Me? thing to do might might be to make them a fire, yes? Make me fire. But what if that person's sole experience with fire was being badly burned by it, and they have harbored an acute fear? Despite the benefits, nay, the necessity of the warmth you offer, they may flee on instinct. Or worse, misinterpret your actions for aggression and lash out. So, like the fire that torments this individual, the Tower of Babel torments the people of Gallimod. 
yet cannot afford to falter here. We must find a way to help them overcome their fear. I agree. To that end, the contingent will assist however we can. We should speak with Arthenod and Alize. With the rapport they have established with the Gullian people, I dare say they could provide us with valuable insights. In the meantime, Orianji, I might ask you to remain here to oversee the technical aspects of the tower's activation. Orianji. 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 <laughs> and away we go. Turdium. Before I enter the cutscene, uh, hey, Jesus, is that went. the new, is that the new bed that uh, just dropped this patch, or is that uh, the old bed? Because I see you on the roof there. Anyway, into the cutscene I go. Bed on the roof. Yeah, he was on the roof of the um. Oh, it's a new one. Nice. He was on the roof of the uh, train on one of the beds. All I could see was like the frame. Bed on the roof of a train. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, with the stuffed animals. The teddy bear on. I am glad to see you, Blue. Vitra has, has explained our has explained our present dilemma. Tis no un unfounded concern with the guardians that the guardians might take poorly to the re reactivation of the Tower of Babel. That's putting it mildly. Many would be would be up in arms over it. Trust the Elizabeth contention. Trust the Elizabeth contention is fragile enough. We need to tread lightly, or we risk jeopardizing everything we've achieved. Trust again. It seems to me there's not for it but to speak with the people. Rather than harping on about the necessity of the plan, we need to lend an ear to their concerns. Then perhaps we can begin working towards a compromise. Just in, ca just in that case, I'll make you meet the uh, community leaders. They're at the station called Sanatus. Uh, Near the Silaclum Sil Imp Imperialis. My God, these words. I would be honored. I would be honored to speak with them, though it would be prudent to learn where people elsewhere stand as well. But that they will lead to the others. Save zero. Might you accompany me? I'm sure those in Tapper's Den will have their own opinions. Alphino. If I may drag you along. Nod. Tertium, we leave it to you. You are no stranger to the people here, so it should take little prodding to convince them to speak freely. Nod. It's settled then. Once you've learned what you can, let's all meet at the Forum Solace, where we will have what I hope is a productive discussion. There he is on the bed, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, where? Ooh. No word. Oh, Go. I see. <gasps> oh my god, there's a tiny baby chocobo and a teddy bear. I love it. And that is a mount you get through uh, the doing the Unreal Unreals. 
Which also, so that's something oh we Oh my god, this like, is kinda... so pretty. Look at how pretty this is. I love it. It's kind of falling it. reminds me, though. That's actually something to, uh, to speak about. Um, Unreals? Uh, yes. Uh, so Go ahead. I was kind of thinking about um, uh, how the Unreals might fit in with us doing those as well. Um, no, it should be up right away. It should be up now, Luna. Um, so instead, I was kind of thinking since Unreals are like a weekly thing with currency uh, building up for it over and over and over again, um, what we could do, instead of going straight into doing the level 50 extremes once we're uh, all done in raid day with the current raid tier, we could learn the new Unreal and do, and do that. And then every week before we go into the next level 50 trial and then go forward with those, Extreme we could do the Unreal as a warm up every week. So we could get our weekly rewards um, and build those up and use them however, however we so choose. And that'll just be like a weekly thing we do every, uh, every Monday. For me, I think who's that... never done like hard content in the game, using the words unreal and warm up in the same sentence is kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. But yeah, they're they're not really any more difficult than a extreme trial. And also, like as like we're going plan, back though. and doing the level the level fifty content, having the unreal to so, like kind of uh, give us our warm up will just kind of uh, let us be able to keep our level 90 rotations and our, our how we play the level 90 job uh, like fresh in our minds as we're going back and doing that older content as well, which should be like... Yeah, because we're starting with like level 50 hands. steps. Yeah. Unreal is just an extreme fight with a fancy name. So I've heard. So I've heard. Unreal is an old extreme scaled up to current level. This is what I've heard. And since, yeah, since it's going to be the same one for an entire patch, we'll, like, once we get it down, we'll be able to, like, oh, okay, what is it? it's just two fights real quick, back to back, and then we move on our way to actually learning something else. What is the on... Wait. Did I already ask this question? What is the you unreal? You did. It is the last of the warring tribes. Oh, right, right, right. Now I remember. Yeah. All right. We already knew it was going to. That's what it was going to be. Um. And but we don't exactly know where they're going uh, next. Because when they first started doing it, they were they started with um. Uh, oh, I think yeah, it was, it was world leader. It was I. Was it World Leader or was it, um... I know it was an ARR, uh, it was an ARR, uh, trial that they, they started it out with. I believe it's Wait, the World Leader. Wait, side question. How so, long is, oh, is one, uh, Unreal always, like, one patch? Yes. Okay. So in six, six this is, this will be until 6.5. In 6.5, they're gonna do another Unreal. And we are not sure which what uh, what's it gonna be. If it's gonna be a Stormblood one, if they're gonna go back and do other ARR stuff. I, I'm guessing they're going to. My guess is actually they're gonna start doing the uh, the next um, trial series. I think they will do the what's it called again? The uh, four four one in from Stormblood. God, why am I not remembering it? What for one? What? Uh, what's the trial series in um, Stormblood called? The one with all the animals? Yes. Because if I'm if I remember right with the Unreal's, they started with uh like post uh patch content trials in R R, and then they're went into patch trial uh, stuff for uh, Heaven's Word, and then they're gonna- like, Four go Lords. To... The Four Lords, thank you. See, I had to cheat. Yeah, I think they're, they'll do the uh, the three trials and the Four Lords next. Yeah, they'll do the uh, Jade Stora. Uh, 
then Hell's Cure, and then Wreath of Snakes. I think that's what uh, we'll get for the next uh, Unreal, next set of Unreals. That is my guess, though. All right. Shall All right. we talk to the people? But yeah, I like the idea of having those Unreals be the warm up. And then you can get that bed as soon, like as soon as possible. Well, I'm back to you. All right. Assuming you don't want something else like the uh, um, Corgi minion as well, because that's also a uh, unreal reward. We we have time. Yep, all the time in the world. Um, want to have you take this one? The Tower of Babel? But what's it got to do with Voidsend? I can't say I understand. Still, your people have done much and more for us Garleans. If you say it's necessary, then that's good enough for me. See, they understood. I we'll bought the Gorgie of the market board for 5.5 million. Oh my god. Yeah, those things are those things are not That's cheap. a lot. Oh, you're in a different dude. Where are you? I went north. I can't see. You. Oh, there you are. Okay. Let's see that one. This one looks like it's going to be you as well. Okay. Papaya. Papaya. That's how you pronounce it, right? We can go with that. Papaya. Whatever its present state, the Imperial Palace was once the pride of Garlemald. I mean no disrespect. Exactly, I know words. Pretty fluent in this language. Huh. I mean no disrespect to you and yours, but shouldn't the Garlean people be its caretakers instead of foreigners? Though if we... I swear to God, like, bleh, talking's hard. Uh, with me streaming this game, doing my playthroughs, and being on a call with Blue every single day, I think I can honestly say now that on a day-to-day -day basis, I speak more English than Finnish currently. <laughs> it's the world we live in. Yeah. But, uh, so... If I start forgetting Finnish, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be concerned. Though if we dared speak thus to some of the contingent, they might make assumptions. Cut our ration... Operations? Or worse? No. No, forget I said anything. Please. I also speak more English than Finnish. Crazy. <laughs> so really? Not really? Not laughing. Really? laughing. Really? Cut off Cat from talking. Like, see, reading the lines by just laughing at what you said, Luna. Yeah, oh, really? My God. That's shocking. What about you, Blue? Do you think you speak more English or Finnish? Finnish. Finnish. I see. <laughs> I need to teach him some Finnish. Blue's meets Morgan. Morgan. Activate the Tower of Babel? Are you out of your mind? Yeah, but that, that has nothing to do with this. That abomination transformed my friends and family into monsters! I can't even bear to look at it whenever I step outside! If you want to do something for us, tear the bloody thing down! Why does the title, uh, Loved by the Axe, sound dirty to me? Never mind. Let's go here. Fretting lady, hi. I'll take this one. A old bag? <laughs> Baby, that tower isn't right, I tell you. All those magics. Years ago, when I lived in the provinces, the locals raised our village to the ground with the stuff. 
Man thinks a pair disappear and fly and burn. Can still see it with my when I close my eyes. This just you've made me. You've done us a good turn, dear. Let's not talk about that tower any longer. It's unnatural. Blue speaks old lady. Serious lad. You want to take this one? Since I took all the old bag. I'll take the kid. No! Stop it! The tower is evil! It'll turn us all evil! I don't want to hear it! Leave me alone! Blue, why did you scare the little boy? Um... Rawr! <laughs> I'm going to speak English much more than Finnish beginning next week. It's going to be a bit draining to focus hard to savage progging and speaking English. Oh my god! Good luck! Oh my god. It's okay, just get Cat and Con have her translate for you. <laughs> Where are we going? I also actually speak more English than German, so I do understand you, cat. Yay! Sprague is Deutsch? Me, not anymore. I just remember a few phrases, to be honest. Same. Yulos is on his way with the others. I hope you found the people more receptive than we did. Present to you, Lord uh, Neus and Medius, magistrates of our pro political council. They have been spearheading the efforts to establish a new system of government here. When we raised the subject of the Tower of Babel, they insisted that we speak no further until joined by representatives of the Ilsvar contingent. I see Alpha Nord and Alize have yet to arrive, though, so perhaps we should wait. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if only some of you are present. We simply wish to make one thing perfectly clear: the tower is the manifestation of guardian ingenuity and authority. It was once the abode of the imperial family, and will forever be bear tr tremendous cultural significance. It is insulting enough that we have to suffer foreigners occupying it under the guise of rendering aid. And now you propose reactivating it? Nay, we have had enough. The guard of old abode may have fallen, but she fell in civil war to her own people, not to Eurasia, nor to any other lands. Can we please bring Garlean restoration into the game? We came here to assert our unequivocal claim to our territory. Garlemald, and all that lies within her borders is beholden to no one. Pause. Pause. What is unequivocal? Um, like, unequal. Um, they're cl they're Oh my god, that's, a, that's another, like, it's basically the same word, it's just twisted into sounding old. Unequiv... Like you I mean, take you take a few letters off of it and it's unequal. Le leaving no doubt unambiguous. Oh well, that's different. Yeah. All right. Thank you. You learn something new every day, and maybe if you're lucky, you might actually remember it later. 
like I un I understand like what it what it means in context. It's like, but trying to explain it is because like how it's used is different than unambiguous. But are like used like in different contexts. The Fallen Empire. Yulus is eager to get out of the cold. Ha <laughs> ha, me too, Yulus, me too. Since their excellencies are resolved to negotiate with the contingent, I will escort them to ter Teratirum. I'll also instruct Alphno and Alice to meet us there. Lord Mateus, Lord. G Lord Na uh, Naeus, by your leave, my comrades and I would speak with the residents of, of Sinaitis. Though the Ilzabon contingent holds the Tower of Babel, it's I who wishes for it to be adapted. And thus, I think I meet it meet the, uh, I think it meet that I be present for this discussion. That's it, a weird sentence. My understanding sentence. of the people's hardships, of their hopes and desires, of their dreams of the, for the future, is sorely lacking. In my ignorance, I would struggle to contribute. Lest you worry, I will not plead our case to the, to the community in your absence. I wish only to identify common ground, upon which we might build a relationship that sees us overcome our differences. Very, very well. But know that the gods will not hesitate to escort you from the premises should they judge your actions be inappropriate. Ooh. If it's settled, then you should all head to Senatus. I'll join you there after I see their excellency safely to Teratidon. I'm keeping up. I'm just distracted by this other cat's ears. Oh, there they went. They were pretty. Love Shine uses those all the time on her uh, Mikote. I felt like that's where I knew them from, but I wasn't 100% sure. Just a sec, there's a sightseeing thing here. Look out! Forum Solus. Look out! Look out! It was, in the, it was in the square that Emperor Solus inspected his troop. Yeah, yeah, inspected his troops before embarking upon his second campaign into the Far East. The Imperial Legions were ultimately successful in their subjugation of the Kingdom of Dalmasca, and officials celebrated the grand victory by transforming the parade ground into a commemorative public park. I'm Captain Bosch of Dalmasca! <laughs> Bosch lives! Oh my god. I, I hate that I can use the term, that takes me back to, uh, to, with a game that I'm still playing. I started it so long ago. My god, YouTube playthroughs take forever, especially when you have multiples going on at once. Especially when it's Final Fantasy XII when you're doing, like, lots of the side content. That too. How many hunts episode I've already done? How many I still could do? Oh god. All right, Marshan. Here it is, Senatus. Temporary refuge for political dignitaries, hence the tight security. I am given to understanding that outsiders are not normally permitted much of a glimpse inside. We should consider ourselves fortunate to be given this opportunity. I hope it will be worth the trouble. As do I, Zero. As do I. I love the poncho. I mean, it's not exactly poncho, but it's kind of poncho-like. Yes. Interesting. What's interesting? Basically, it's the same model as the uh, other uh, place we've been in. 
but just with the door closed. Where the other Aetherite is. Are you in a different area than me? No, I'm in the same area as you, but it's like, this is literally the same model that they use. No, 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 I mean you are not physically in the same... Oh, yeah, I'm not physically in the same area as you. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Actually, well, wait, wait, wait. Does it, okay, so where it says in, the, in your chat, it says you are now in uh, in an in instance area. What does it say? Two. Two. One, two. 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 Alright, then that doesn't matter either, since I'm in stages two as well. Alright. Speaking of Roshan? Yes. To begin, I propose to split it up and ask the residents for their views on the Ilzebar contingent and the current state of affairs. We would do well to learn more about this enclave itself. Should you observe anything of note, pray keep it in mind. It is through open hearts and open minds that I believe we may yet convince their leaders to work with us for the greater good. No. Let's try to find a good stopping point at some point. Got it. Pile of crates. Oh. Uh. Or all right, let's oh, okay. go. Okay, no, 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 no. I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay. Pile of crates it is. Let's go. The stockpile of assorted supplies spares markings indicating they were provided by the Ilzebard contingent. The Enclave is clearly reliant upon the Alliance for aid. Alright, which one next? Let's take the Pelagia dude. I think that's the closest. Yeah. Is that you or me? I think that's that me. That is a you. You want to know what I think? I'm a soldier. I try not to think about politics at all. I'll say this much. Our leaders labor to, pre to preserve our culture, our way of life. What remains of it, at any rate. I trust them to do what's best for Garlemald. I want Garlemald restoration. We might get it. I want that pile of garbage to be made into a project that we can make all pretty and, you know, full of life. Barrel of Cerulean? Do a barrel roll! What? What? <laughs> Might get it in 9.x or 10.x. I mean, when did Ishgar the uh, restoration? When when did when did we get that? Because obviously that has always been there for me. That's interesting. Yeah. That's because yeah. I, from what I understand, that wasn't after Heaven's Word, like right after Heaven's Word. I feel like that came like a lot later. Right? Um, it was during the last patch that they did that. Uh, during, uh, no. It was during, yes. Um, Shadowbringers that they did the, uh, uh, reclamation of, uh, of that. But to be fair, that's an entirely different zone that, that we had not seen yet at all until they started doing that. That's Iskar true. Restoration was like completely, as a completely separate area. Yeah. So we might get it later. I want that, because there's just a huge area that's just destroyed, and I want to... Because I love, I love those projects when you take nothing or something that's destroyed or abandoned or something like that you take something like that and you make it into this whole thing i love those things i love those things give me more you recognize the large casks as the very same you and your comrades used to transport ceruleum from lapis manalis why they are in sinus is unclear all right where do we have more In the train? Marcus? Did you find Marcus? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Do you want to take Marcus? How do I feel about the contingent? Conflicted, to say the least. I've been tasked with the distribution of supplies, and I know as well as any that we couldn't survive without outside aid. Be that as it may, even though the Empire has collapsed, we have our pride. People don't want to be beholden to others forever, and there's no denying that chiefs see our benefactors occupying the Imperial Palace. Speak with Varshan. So, Blue, how does it feel like having EU as your main? Um... <laughs> I wouldn't know. Come on, you're going through MSQ for the first time here. If that's not a sign of main, what is? I'm trying, trying to, to jump on top of this, but you can't. That's cruel. At this rate, you're going to make it so I do the MSQ myself before you before this. Got it. I found it. Perfect. Oh my god. Perfect. I only need the teeniest and tiniest of tables. You're not, you're not even on the table, you're stepping off of it. Eh, I'm not falling. I like, I like the dance. All this talk of, hey, Blue, you're doing MSQ here, so this is main. You're doing MSQ here, so this is your main. I hear that, and then I hear what they're trying to say is, hey, you You're should gonna finish rebel? the MSQ. You should finish the MSQ on NA before doing it over here. You're such a rebel. Oh, a this I can be on top of, but not the glowy ones. I see how this goes. Does this count as a table? No. This looks weird. There's too much. It just it just does not look right. Like how is that like It's not that my legs are going over, it's just that I'm not even touching it. Are you seeing this? I am. That it's looks wonky. Very silly. It's I understand that it's hard to make it like completely like perfect, but that's just way too much air in my opinion. Sorry. I, I'm getting tired. I start doing funky stuff. Alright. My attention span is starting to weaken. Same. Finish touring the enclave, have you? What were you able to learn? That life is beautiful. Much the same as me, then. They accept the contingent's help out of necessity and harbor a measure of resentment. They have only themselves to blame. If they don't like the bargain, they should reject it. How many times must they tell you it's absolutely out of the question? What's going on? We were running the sa very same. We came running when we heard shouting. Is all the matter? Uh, no, I was just trying to explain. Hey, perhaps you can clear this up. The contenders made a reasonable request. This man insists that it's impossible. It concerns the magic check weapons which are rampant throughout Rango. Urban Asmia. Every time we deliver supplies here, we have to dispatch the extra, extra men to defend against potential attacks. Close enough. To address the issue, once and for all, we propose the elimination of all machina that loitered near the supply route. But you heard him, they refuse to even consider it. 
The mag the magistrates have already spoke spoken the matter. Ramp rampant or no, those Warakamakina are guardian assets. Furthermore, who's to say they are as dangerous to as dangerous as you attest? It's been suggested that this could be a pretense to scavenge Magitek material for your own ends. I know not if that is the case, but the fact remains we cannot allow you to destroy them. More speculation by the magistrates, I presume. Ridiculous, but ridiculous, but they have spoken. Unless we want to inflame tensions further, there's nothing we can do. The hat. How complicated relations become when not grounded in a clear and equitable arrangement. Equitable arrangement. Of course! Fair trade! Why did anyone think of that? <laughs> well, I do understand the difficulty of your position. As a soldier, you must do your duty and obey your superiors. I have an idea. But first, I must speak with Commander Lucia. May I take charge of this matter? B by all means. I don't know why he's Italian, or bad Italian, but... I don't do accents. The only accent I do is me. Whatever this is. Whatever mess let's, of an accent this is. Let us return to Camp the Rotten Glass, where we might discuss a solution I, be, a, a solution I believe will satisfy all parties. My accent of being a mix of, well, obviously Finnish, but also like, in school they taught us like, UK, you UK English, and then we've just heard American English forever, so it's kind of a mix of the both, and then that mixed with, you know, kind of like a Finnish accent. You want to call it here since uh, it's right next to an aetherite? Actually, yeah, that could be fun. Because it's easier to get here. Mm -hmm. I definitely do not want to unlock the the trial. <laughs> I Because I, I want to go there with full energy and that is just not the case right now. Yeah. I, I think, think this... we're a decent amount away from the trial. Because I know where the trial takes place, and we're we got a, it seems we got a few stages before we can get to there. Oh yeah, because next time, so Monday is gonna be raid day again. Monday raid day. Monday is raid day again, so we're gonna do pandemonium, and then. That's not gonna take the entire stream, though. Um, I mean, it depends on how much we do, how much we wipe, how much we uh, dawdle. Like, we've been aver like before pandemonium, we were averaging something like about uh three, like maybe slightly less than three fights per uh raid day. Really? But we, but during pandemonium. Yeah, because I, I, I just remember like how many um, parts we would do because we would do less than a full uh, flight of fights each uh, each raid day. But the past two streams, we did the first part of Pandemonium in one of them and the second part of Pandemonium in the other. All right. So we might be able to do, the, do it all in one stream. After that, it's... It's hard content time. I'm not ready. Yes, you are. I'm not ready. Yes, you are. Silly goose. I'm scared. I'm excited, but scared. All right. We are going to call it here today. Monday, right day. We're going to continue... New Raid Tier is great. Can't wait. 
That's gonna be... The trial is great. The patch is great. Everything is great. I've heard a lot of good things about this stuff so far. Uh, it, was, it was actually a really fun stream today. Yeah. So Monday is Pandemonium. And then on Wednesday, we're gonna continue this. And I need to start thinking what do I, what, what, what other stuff we're gonna be doing on Wednesdays. Because um, obviously we're gonna run out of MSQ real fast. <laughs> An easy solution is maps. There's a lot to do. It's just a, it's just a matter of me deciding what is the next thing I want to do. Because obviously there's a lot, there's a lot that we can do, but it's just deciding what is going to be the next project. For um, you, I'm guessing, based on you, after Hildy is done. My guess is ARR Relic, right? Tataru's Grand Endeavor. But isn't that like a short one? I mean, I... probably could be done over a stream. Yeah. Okay. I have no idea what that is. I know Tataru. That's all I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways. Uh, Monday, Pandemonium, and Wednesday, MSQ. That's Obviously, the plan. Yep, we do have a lot of co other content to go through, yeah. We have so much. We have so much. So I'm not going to run out of things to do. It's just that, you know, so far it's been very clear what content I do next. Now I'm going to have, like, this lot of things to do but there's no like clear path i can choose like oh my god what do i want to do next what do i want to focus on next i need to start choosing stuff <laughs> but yeah thank you everyone for coming here today i hope you guys had fun i sure did if you're not on our discord yet uh, yet uh grab the link from the chat and come and join us we would love to have you there we're there every single day um and I hope you have an amazing rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all on Monday with Pandemonium. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.